I need to get some of the soundtrack. Okay. I thought we read these. Maybe not. Yeah, no, I definitely read these. Um, I guess so. Cool, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is just this stuff popping up again. I'm not gonna say I like using you. I'm not gonna do that. Ew. Sure. And then I am not answering Eric. Not answering Eric. That is staying on red. I don't know why I don't just block him at this point. Okay, and we played the game last time. Can I craft something? Wait, didn't I make all these things last time? Did it not save? I don't think it saved any of the stuff I made last time. Yeah. Because I didn't actually leave the room. Okay, well that's something to keep in mind for the future. Okay. Ooh. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot my glasses. Alright, um, there's two dates at Paradise Lost. Uh, okay. We still have to finish, uh, La Rosa. And... So I guess it's just... Yeah, it's just you two. Well, three. But I think the other one's the cat. You find Rowan staring off in the distance as the cat creeps up on them. Crowley seems nervous. Nothing more. The cat hunches down, ears flat, eyes fixed on Crowley, preparing to pounce. <sighs> you know, when it when it was pouncing on someone else, it wasn't a big deal. I like to think Crowley just knows and will just dodge it. And we'll just dodge it. I don't know though. Watch out! <laughs> oh, Crowley is watching, believe me. He can deal with his own problems. <laughs> Crowley makes a little call a bit like laughter. Last cat that tried to eat Crowley lost an eye, I believe. Pocket Pots is still lashing. Oh no, Pocket! Run away! Shit, this, this, this means business. This bird means business. Pocket turns away and walks away nonchalantly as if uh, entirely unconcerned. See, Crowley, no need for violence. Words have power. What about you? How will you handle the fo forces that hunt you? I'm being hunted? Yes. Surely, at the very least, we are all hunted by death, slowly but surely. Alice, my grandmother, was the strongest witch I've ever met, and even she wasn't enough. But I feel unprepared for how to care for her effects. The physical things all clean up nicely, but what about her digital remains? Pretty bird. Hush. I know you put your pictures online for all to see, no shame. He does what now? He has too many followers as it is, Quasi. Don't encourage him. Hey, think of it. You think you've seen Crowley before in a few viral videos. Oh, Ready God. Bird. Alice was also active on the line. On, on a line? Online? Many profiles and comments and so on. In the real world, our oils, our oils and tracks are worn away, much as our spiritual energies fade on that plane. <laughs> Is it same for the digital traces, or are they permanent? They'll be deleted eventually. Ah. Hmm, you know, the animal side of me wants her marks to be permanent, but... If she didn't fade, it would also make it harder to let her go, and she would want me to move on. She was a big follower in growth. Her weapon shape was even a garden trowel. Oh, God! Sorry, you're probably tired of me talking about her. I just don't have anyone else to talk to. <laughs> or Crowley. You know what I mean. Someone who isn't... Also grieving, someone more normal. Maybe my sense of normal is a bit skewed. How often do you think about death? Uh, when I have to. Oh. I believe that's healthy, especially for one who kills with such frequency. If one deals death as a profession, such as a wielder, it is not it is irresponsible to not to consider the consequences. But there are other, even more clarifying activities for growth. Love magic, for example. I mean I said when I have to, right? And I mean if I kill something, it probably makes me think about death. The dream I was streaming Sandrock and the guy you dated was on stream. Interesting. 
done some calculations and I've seen we may have compatible energies. Uh, do I have a gift that you would like? Jewelry, but for suits instead of people? I don't know who wants that. Hmm. Armors, cheerful. Hmm. Roman also looks extremely long, young compared to the rest of the crew. They do. They still look older than Sawyer, but they look pretty young as well. Um. Would you enjoy it if our bodies were to meet, uh, ritualistically, but also physically? <laughs> what? Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, m maybe? Sorry, I can see I've startled you. Let me ask this in a different way. Hmm. Would you be interested in a kiss? We may or may not explore sex later, as you wish. <laughs> hey Sage, thanks for the raid. How was stream? Nightmare is over? Congratulations. What were you- were you streaming Mononui again? Yeah, I'd like that. Oh, Mystery of Convoy, ah. <laughs> Rowan seems startled, blinking with a sudden vulnerability. Yes. Had my love magic calculations were correct, we'll grow so much together, I think. Pretty human. Pretty human? <laughs> Crowley, please, have some decency. <laughs> oh. You lean into each other, feeling a soft, comfortable warmth spread from where your skin touches. Who is that? You share a quiet, sunlit kiss. You think you feel Latin words whisper from their lips. Uh-oh. Are you trying to steal my soul? I mean, hey, you're cute, though. When an enemy dies, get a brief damage boost that can stack up to three times. Ooh. Tomorrow I'm streaming Pokemon? Which Pokemon? Was it... I, I think Fire Red was on your list, right? <sighs> cool. Erwin spends a few moments just looking at your face fall. Farewell. I have a lot to think about. Thank you, Quasi. Blessed be. You head home. I may have just had... Um... Oh god, is that mom asking me about a sex thing? Oh, it's a sex thing. I got a bit sunburned, but I'm glad I saw you. And had the bravery to ask you. I'll be thinking of that kiss for some time. For now, the dungeon waits. Welcome back, by the way. Missed you. Thank you. I finally got a break from work slowly destroying me by giving me too much stuff to do. It's okay, though, because I got through it with the power of Bailey Brownies. Bailey Brownies solve everything. Missed you, too. I'm glad I was missed. Uh, be my youth culture interpreter. What is it? Unless it's some kind of sex thing, then don't tell me. Blade generation. Let's see. A band? A friend of mine. It, it's a band. Evil assignment that had the wrong dude. Yeah, I was so pissed. Three hours I sat there. Working on that overtime. And I don't even get paid for overtime. I'm salary. Okay, well, if you find a CD of theirs, bring it home so I can listen. I don't want to fall completely out of touch, you know. Thanks. You answered this last time. I had to redo a lot of the other questions, a lot of the other texts as well. But wait, I don't, I don't, I don't think I did the. Wait, that that I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that I did, the one from Mom, but I had to re-answer a lot of them because apparently didn't save it last time. Whew. Even when cheating like hell, that game was so hard. Got a sore throat. Ooh, that sucks. I know how that feels. Hope you get well soon. Missed me too. I was missed! 
I was going to try and finish this today if I had enough time to start it early, but I don't I don't think we'd be able to finish it now. Let's go see Sawyer. I'm going to let Sawyer down as easily as possible. You find Sawyer and Olivia sharing a textbook and comparing notes. Hi. Oh good, you made it! Olivia, meet Quasi. Hey! Oh, we already know each other a little bit. We hung out here, in fact. Funny. Yeah, and you also stalked my uh, friend. Well, Quasi fits the bill of a gig economy worker who has college education. Hit the assignments, let's start the interview. Wow. Kitty! Aw, oh, Kitty! We should interview you instead. You're a gig economy worker, too. Does he have a degree? Hmm. I'm sure a cat cafe counts as a gig. He gets room and board, you know. Oh. The cat wanders away. Huh? Oh, you're, how could you be so rude to that poor exploited kitty? Hey, if you want to start a cat union, I'm on board, but we have some homework to do. Okay, ahem. So, Quasi. How much do you think your college education helps someone work better in the dunge? Hmm. bit worse in that my family is currently visiting el uh, elderly relatives. Oh, wow, yeah. No, that would be terrible. Hopefully everything is is fine. Yeah, they have like one cat. Sprite. Or not Sprite. Art. Um, how much do you think a college education will help someone work better in the dunge? In the dunge? A little? Olivia furrows her brow. Okay, we know it's a dangerous job, but do you get any benefits from working in the dunge? Uh... I meet new people. That would be true of my job. That's not really the kind of benefit we mean. Hmm. Traditionally, workers get health or life insurance, unemployment pay, minimum wage. I... I yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Or even a company car if the job requires it. It's just, yeah, no, I don't think I'm going to be getting anything that gives me a company car. This isn't that kind of job. Uh-huh. You two were specifically talking about gig jobs. If you're doing like contract works, you're not gonna work. You're not gonna have any of that anyway. Okay, but what opportunities for advancement do you have? Uh, they call me a sword smoocher. Sawyer so frowns at their notes and exchanges a look with Olivia. Hmm. So you go into the dungeon because you're horny. Well, according to this evaluation assignment, you are being thoroughly exploited. And the more jobs like yours, the more unstable and fragile our economy becomes. Well, jobs uh, like mine, too. It's not like they pay the weapons better. What have I done? Ah. Now, on top of exams and homework, I have to worry about contributing to exploitation. Oh, no! Aji, shush. Sarcasm's lost on them. Oh, you're chill. This is not your fault. You're doing your best, and you're still a student. Once you've graduated, you can... Once you're graduated, you can do whatever, you know? Saw your size and the cat returns, jumping up next to them and staring, uh, curiously. I'm gonna go. I have other homework for my shift. See ya. Oh, happy sleeping kitty. Olivia waves and gives the cat a neck scratch on her way out. Saw your thoughtfully pets the cat, frowning. It purrs softly. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Nothing new. Anyways, it's been like this for a while. I just have a big exam coming up, and I don't feel ready for anything, but it's fine. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, that's what we tell ourselves. Just focus on the here and now. Which means here and now, I should probably be brave and say... Uh. They swallow, fingers fidgeting. I don't know if this is a date for you, but I like you. I really like you. Oh, uh, okay. All finishers immobilize and knock back. And Glaive returns from being thrown to damage to all enemies nearby. Heavy attack throws Glaive, immobilizing enemies that can still attack. I think I want this instead. I'm waiting for Sawyer to have something to them. Right now they're just meh. They're the character that can't cook. Yeah, they don't really have a ton going on. They're a college student that can't cook, but there's not a lot of like... There's not a lot of, like, character to them, besides they're just a college student that can't qu cook and they're, like, quirky. <laughs> Good point, kitty, but I meant quasi, sorry. The cat goes back to sleep. So, what do you think? Is it okay that I like you? Maybe a lot? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to let Sawyer down. As hard as this is, I... I... I like you as a friend. Mm. Oh, that's... Okay, yeah, I... Sorry! I apologize. 
I'll just... Hmm. hmm. I'll adjust my expectations. Thanks. Spend the rest of the afternoon petting cats and chatting. I mean, you had a good reaction to it, to be fair, so... Eventually, you head home. I took that rejection a hell of a lot better than Eric's stupid ass did. I got an A on the interview assignment. <laughs> that would be such a weird thing to say. I just told you I'm not interested in you, and I reply, how about a kiss? No. Nice work. God. I'm pumped, let's dunge. That would be the weirdest. Okay, well I got one more date. Gotta go see my, my kitty cat. You find Pocket sleeping in a sunbeam in a corner of the cafe. His fur looks unbelievably soft. It sounds like he's snoring a little bit. No. Resist. Exercising superhuman restraint. You sit quietly nearby, waiting for him to wake up. Olivia approaches. Hey! Who's your friend? Wait, that cat doesn't work here. The sound Pocket wakes up and jumps to his feet, fur bristling. Huh? I'm oh, sorry, little guy. He was so cute a second ago. I love cats, but I wouldn't pet strays. It can be stressful for him. He's not a stray, exactly. Hmm. Well, he hangs out around here. Guess he has a collar. Someone must love him. wonder what he's doing out here. Pocket licks his paw and rubs his face. <laughs> oh, he's having a little bath. It's the cutest. Pocket stops licking to glare at Olivia. Sorry, I'll leave you two in peace. So as soon as she leaves, Pocket makes a small mew. Would you like to offer a gift? I don't think I have anything a cat would like. You have a surfer, an ex-Korean boy band member, a femme fatale who's into art, a mysterious dude that keeps, uh, that's keeping big secrets, a suave fencer with a rough past, a cat, a cool envy who's into the occult. Yeah, and then Sawyer's... Just going to school. Well, I said I would watch some TV with Amber, so I'm gonna go do that, but I'll keep you open while I'm AFK. Hey, have fun with TV. Um, off of your hand? Pocket approaches your hand warily, making eye contact with you the whole time. He abruptly decides to nuzzle your hand, rubbing the side of his head against your knuckles. Oh, We waited, see? So, finishers immobilize enemies, but they can still attack. Um, enemies are also briefly stunned when immobilized. Enemies take extra damage when hit while immobilized. Meow? Meow? He stops, perking up curiously as if an unheard signal. Something has caught his attention. Watch where he goes. He slinks outside and you lose track. A few moments later, you hear a cacophonous racket of hissing and growling. No! Pocket sprints past at lightning speed. A rough-looking street cat steps out of the alley, looks around, and goes back inside. Oh, no! Wow, that, is a, that, that cat's been through some shit. Wow. I head home. That looks like one of the strays near here, actually. The cat's acting weird. Lots of energy. Did you feed him anything? Nope. Huh. Okay, well he's really into fish now. Uh... Huh. Okay. <laughs> That's an adorable picture. Bow, bow. Mm -hmm. All right, I think I'm pretty much done, and we can just hop back into La Rosa. So, I mean, I guess it's Kitty. Kitty's the lowest level. <sighs> Preparing a pop culture recap of 2023. Do you have any game, movie, TV show, anime worth mentioning? I'm looking for suggestions. Uh. Hmm. I can't really think of anything, but I'm bad at thinking of something on the spot like that. Um, it's also hard for me to remember what stuff came out this year as opposed to like previous years and stuff. I'm a terrible person to ask this, unfortunately. If I think of anything though, I'll let you know. It sometimes just takes me time. 
Oh, it tells you the dungeon fear when you're when you're going in. Oh yeah, I gotta remember how to play the video game. Okay, we gotta remember our combos. Oh yeah, you're, you're the one that has even more complicated combos. Because you have one for actually everything. Yeah, Baldur's Gate for sure. I because the one the one thing that did pop into my head was Alan Wake, but I know you've s at least experienced Alan Wake in some way. So, Alan Wake, Baldur's Gate. Um, as far as anime goes, I hear good things about like was what was it, it called like Freerun or whatever that one. You find a more private part of the club. The ropes seem to keep the monsters wow. away. Would you like to offer a gift? Uh, I don't have any gifts for you. Pocket curls up and seems to instantly fall into a catnap. In the cozy quiet, you soon find yourself also falling into a light snooze. In a dream, you smell something delicious. You reach out to find the source and stuff it in your mouth. Bite down something juicy yet crunchy. You slowly realize it was a tasty... mouse? You wake up to gagging to find uh, Pocket staring at you intently. Oh, oh, okay. I was, I was like, oh god, my mind went places. My mind went places. I thought you caught a mouse and left it for me, and I ate the mouse. You sent me that dream? Like it tilts his head curiously, but doesn't answer. Yeah, hi fi rush for sure as well. That is one nice thing about, um, Sawyer. I sometimes in some rooms wish that I had a, uh, ranged attack, and when I am, uh, using Sawyer, I do actually have a ranged attack. Demure liquid. God, the, the, like, group damage that Pocket can throw out is just kind of wild. This miter recipe? Um, thanks? I wonder if we are going to find more characters. I feel like there could maybe be like one or two more romances. But there's also some that were added late, so there might even be more than that. I'm trying to think of what anime I've watched this year, and it's not a lot. It's like... Vinland Saga, which, which most of the anime I watched weren't even from this year. And as far as, like, manga goes, I've basically just been reading One Piece. Although I am getting to the point where I am almost finished with One Piece for now, so I can move on to other things. So that'll be interesting. Where's your 
who's your favorite character in this? Um, uh, it's kind of hard to choose. There's, I definitely don't have a character that I'm like, that's absolutely the one I would pick. No questions asked. That's, that's my favorite. Um, so I'd have to say it's like currently, oh, in one piece. Mm. One piece, my favorite character. Wow. Like I said, I'm really, really tough at picking favorite characters, but Robin, probably. I really, really like Robin. Just because the cool, uh, the cool, calm, and collected one that also does, like, talks about very, very, um, I, I, I like the, I like the joke with Robin where every single time something happens, Robin jumps to, like, the absolute worst conclusion. Plus the whole archaeology angle. Plus I've always just liked Robin ever since I watched One Piece way back in the day. Robin's always kind of been my favorite. Aside from that, I really, really like Chopper. Uh, and Jinbei's cool. I like Usopp too, just because Usopp feels, you know, normal in a, on a ship full of like super freaks, basically. <laughs> so. Mid yawn, pocket pauses, strangely alert for fluffing. Uh, that's a art. What is it? You look around and realize you sent something too. Someone is here. Strange man. Oh, hey, it's you. <laughs> all right, all right, you found me. Don't attack. I'm Vitas Varnas. Just taking a break from the shop, but here, I'll give you a special deal. Two fabric mm -hmm. for $10. Okay. There you're done. Stay safe. The Varnas strolls back into the dungeon pocket, hisses farewell. Zoro is cool, yeah. I, I do like Zoro a fair bit as well, but... Robin, Robin Chopper, are definitely my favorites. I just, I'm not that crazy about Sanji. Like, Sanji's just annoying sometimes. And like, every single time Sanji does something cool, it's cut off by the fact that Sanji, Sanji then does something very annoying. So, I'm just not super crazy about Sanji. Despite me, normally would be, I would be into Sanji, but... I mean, I will say... It is cool that Sanji gets like... Some more stuff later that part's cool and i'm currently enjoying that but um yeah generally not a whole lot if if brooke wasn't also weird sometimes brooke would probably be higher up my list just for a character being like incredibly cool as uh, like conceptually did that just say bug princess magazine I think that just said Bug Princess Magazine. Alright. If we're- if we're including, like, a lot of, uh... <clears throat> if we're including other characters as well, like, if I'm- if I'm going to go outside the realm of, uh... You know, just the crew itself. Um, I absolutely fucking love Bartholomew. Um, Bart's great. Um, who else is really cool? Uh, hmm. See, it's hard for me to think about these things. I really, really like Fujitora. Fujitora's cool. Brook's supposed to be weird. I, the main things I'm talking about with the Brook being weird is when he's just horny. It always feels so random. With Sanji, I'm always like used to it and I expect it. But with uh, with Brook, it's like usually Brook doing something cool and then also being horny. 
It is not as much as Sanji though, which is why it doesn't really bother me as much. Same with Usopp, because Usopp does horny shit sometimes. Um, it's not nearly as often, so it's not as bad. I am trying to think of some of the other characters as well. Um, it's just hard. Because there's, <laughs> there's like a billion characters in One Piece. But as far as like outside the crew, yeah, I really, really like Bart. Oh, actually, there we go. Um, favorite character outside of the crew? Sabo. I, I absolutely love Sabo. I've loved Sabo ever since he was introduced. And all of the stuff he gets after he was he was been, he was been introduced is amazing, and I love him. Um, he doesn't get as much characterization as I would have liked, but just yeah, love Sabo. Like the design, like like everything about Sabo. Sabo is just cool, and I like him. So Sabo is definitely a big one outside of the crew. So Bart, Sabo, Fujitora, um, Aokiji is pretty cool. Also, in like a interesting character way, um, I forget his name. I always forget his name, but the um, the light, the light light fruit admiral, the old guy. And we're dead. Oh, that terrible noise. Yeah, reading Scythia is sort of worth it because you get a damn early preview of a certain character's power hundreds of chapters before it's revealed. Yeah. Let's see. The zine... Bluey. It's weird, I don't know your name. Yeah, it's a little odd. Pretty Ribbon. Ikigurumi? Um, yeah, Bug Princess Zine. Wow. Interesting. I'm kind of interested in that. It's weird how I don't know your name. It's Quasi. Hey, I know you. You're Jonah's friend, right? Small world, huh? -huh. Maybe I'll see you on the wave sometime. Anyway, I'm letting Pocket out. Not sure where he's going. But he didn't eat breakfast, so he's probably hungry. It me. <laughs> There's a lot of references to bugs and stuff in this game, so. We got, we got bug racing and everything. Let's see if we can do normal. Let's go. This game is hard. The oh my god, what is this? Okay, this is... This is high level. God, it feels like I'm controlling a car in like F-Zero. It's so hard to not go overboard with the turning. I get the feeling it's Bug Girls. Could be, or it could be Agatha from Twilight Princess. We will have to see. But if it's Bug Girls, then it depends on how hard they go into the Bug Girl thing. If you tell me bug girl, I don't want a ooh woo bug lady. I want, like, a prank, just a praying mantis in a dress. That's what I want. If you're telling me bug princess, that's what I want.
I accept both. I'll accept both, but I, I would love just praying mantis with like, you know, in a dress. Maybe maybe throw a veil on there. It's great. Resto bravura. You find Pocket sitting outside Bravura. It seems closed for the afternoon. As soon as you arrive, he stands and walks up to you. I just realized the music for Pocket is a remix of the theme, except it's just meowing. Alright. Pocket rubs his head against the bottom of your legs, purring. Puts his front paws on your legs, looking up into your face. What is it? Pocket suddenly darts around you, pawing you uh, playfully as if in a game of tag. He runs towards the restaurant and you notice something hanging from his mouth. It's your wallet! The cat took your wallet! Ah, there's not anything in that. I'm joking, there is. Chase after him. Pushes his way into the restaurant door. How did he know it would be unlocked? You follow him, determined to get your wallet back. You're alone in the restaurant except a tired looking man you assume is the owner. Hi? It's not Ubu Bug, it's like closer to that one wasp girl Mimi posted. <laughs> you can just go straight. Are you single? <laughs> you can just go straight in. Did you see a cat? Mm -hmm. Cat? No, certainly not. This is an eating establishment. You see your wallet on the floor of the restaurant. You can pick it up, all the money's still inside. Climber arrives from the kitchen, something's gone awry. Oh, what? Pocket runs past the giant fish hanging out of his mouth. Ugh. Oh lord, I suppose we should call animal control. He's already out the door. Pay for the fish. Well, he's only half of it, you know. I sourced my ingredients carefully. Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna work. Just mm -mm. please leave. Make sure your animal doesn't come back. I'm sorry! Oh, what a terrible first impression. Outside, you don't see Pocket anywhere. You head home. After just a block, you hear Happy meowing. Looking around, you find Pocket enjoying his fish immensely. Pocket, we can't- Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the art! <laughs> just angry cat face. Territorial. Finishers knock enemies back further. That's amazing. I do kind of want to try Forceful. Is Pocket actually a girl or is the stray a girl? That's kind of what I was wondering if that was like a Pocket being Hornby because po they very much very much nailed home that Pocket's a boy Trying to bribe me? I can flick his tail casually Would you like to offer a gift? No God that sounded like my cat when uh <laughs> That sounded like my cat when he's hungry Abruptly, he freezes and his ears flatten against his head. A growl starts. The cat from before stalks into view, eyes fixed on Pocket. Walks up and starts eating Pocket's fish. Pocket doesn't seem to know how to react to this fish thief. He's frozen, eyes wide. Maybe he can be friends. You pet Pocket to calm him, though he continues to growl as his fish is eaten. Eventually, the fish is gone and the street cat looks up, staring at Pocket. Cat leaps at Pocket's throat. The two become a writhing mass of furry claws. No, I've dealt with this before. It's quickly clear that Pocket is outmatched. Pocket is nearly pinned, but squirms free and runs away at full tilt. That is a... Yeah, you don't want to mess with a badass feral cat. Street Cat sits down and preens, cleaning its claws free of orange fur. Who the fuck is gonna kick it? What? <laughs> no. I'm also not trying to pet it because it's a feral cat. So, I guess my only option is to shoo it away. Cat flicks her tail with a hiss and stalks away. Okay, Pocket, did you try to do some do some dirty with this with this feral kitty? And that is why it is pissed off at you. You head home. Dude, what happened? He looks looks like he got beat up. There was another cat. Well, Obviously. Well, I mean, it could have got- He kind of got beat up by something other than a cat. He's gonna do what he wants, I guess. I just hope he's more careful. 
Yeah, this is why I can never let a cat just outside whenever. I couldn't do it. I'd be too worried about them. They uh, also will just kill and murder things for fun, so there's that too. <laughs> They're little murderers. We said that we came to the same conclusion at the same time. Perfect timing, bugs. the lane no it's it's just it's just you know having the same thoughts happens Howie. i remember my one cat god we always talked about how if he was outside for some reason he would be terrible because he constantly needed stimulation so if he was outside we would, we would be like oh yeah he'd be outside and just be like "Ooh, a mouse it's dead Ooh, a bird! It, it's dead. And he'd just keep going on, all on along, just finding new things to entertain him, which... If it's an outside cat, is other living things. God, this area hurts. And these things suck. I hate these things. So, so much. For context, this was the orange one I said, I talked about that, um, that took his, his water, automatic water thing apart. Like, it was laying in multiple pieces on the floor, completely taken apart. He took out the pump, he took the lid off, he pulled out the little fountain thing in the middle that lets the water spray. He took apart everything. So it's that cat. So yeah, you can probably imagine what that cat would do to other animals if it was outside. You find a pre-made cocktail in the bar next to uh, a bottle of Eau de Ch Eau de Chat? Eau de, Eau de Chat? Uh, then... I don't know. It smells grassy? Wow, wow, wow. Pocket sniffs eagerly at the cocktail and begins lapping it up. Is it catnip liquor? His tail curls in pleasure and is purring as strong. It seems so. Perhaps with bird bitters? Wow. Oh, the cat drugs. He seems extra energetic. Meanwhile, Donnie and Libby don't know how to kill a mouse. I swear their idea of killing it is playing with it until it dies of exhaustion. That's pretty much my my cat, um, Jack. My my one that is the old man now. I remember one time there was a mouse in the basement, and like he saw it, and I saw it, and then like an hour later he was like screaming like crazy, and I was like, "What is it?" And I walk over, and the mouse is on the ground, and he's like, "Look, I did it." Because I thought it had gotten away from him. But uh, he somehow found it again. He gets really, really pissed off if he can't catch something. The cat scent of cat. Save the mice by relocating them. Yeah, that's always good. Yeah, La Rosa is hard. And it is probably also because. Holy shit! That speaker just destroyed me! Oh my god. It just jumps and where it lands, it does damage? Holy shit. Well, I can't even do anything. I can make a hat. I'm out of here. I'm going back into the dungeon. Yeah, the speaker is just rough. What happened there? Um, I got hit by one enemy, and there was a new enemy that's a speaker. And it when it jumps and lands, it does like a shockwave, and it was. As far as I know, my first time interacting with that enemy, so I wasn't prepared for it.
Can we try the story dungeon? All of these are story dungeons as far as I know, I think. This one opened up before the college did, so I kind of assumed I should go here first, but yeah, if it, if it continues to be too difficult in here, I can go try uh, Verona. I had in my head that I should finish one off before moving on to another one, but now since we have two of them, we can just kind of swap between them if one is too difficult. I feel like a lot of it's just that I'm using Pocket, and I'm not particularly good with Pocket. the professor you have to save yeah that's the college this one just opened up first so i was like oh it probably wants me to finish this one first because uh sunders specifically told me about this one and i imagine it's just a general story dungeon because i'd be shocked if it was like sunders specific dungeon because it feels like it would be weird if that was the case because um everybody having their own dungeon would be a lot Unless they were like really short, like five floors. Silver ring. True royalty. Thunder needs a whole vampire dungeon. Thunder and Miguel from uh, Sandrock. These things I hate. Honestly, all of these things in this dungeon are what make it difficult. The martinis and stuff, not that bad, but that speaker and that thing that throws out the bombs? Rough. He's obviously a vamp slut. They've been hilariously unsubtle about it. Yeah. Yeah. Find a more private part of the club. The ropes seem to keep the monsters away. Instantly fall into a cat nap. Okay, here we go. It's this thing again. Sent me that dream. Thanks for making me eat a mouse. Roman got a sunburn from being outside with like 10 minutes of flossing. <laughs> My wife's gotten sunburned being at like outside at an event for like a few hours before. She burns very easily. But yeah, 10 minutes is a little absurd. I remember I got sunburned at my uh at my own college graduation because in their infinite wisdom they had us sitting in chairs facing the sun. Like, sun was just in our face the entire time for the whole thing. And yeah, it was like just my forehead and stuff was sunburnt. I don't know why they did that or why they decided that was a good idea, but... It was terrible. Like, sitting up there trying to watch people, like, actually give their, you know talks and stuff and watching people walk across was incredibly hard um i think i'm gonna go with isaac oh this immediately feels way better especially since i can parry ow ow my god i hate this stupid thing mostly because of those Found a pair of brass knuckles in my kitchen? What? Ooh, hi. What? Wait, what? Oh, hi. Is this a threat? Did you take my cat hostage? No. I did not take your cat hostage. Your cat turns into a pair of brass knuckles, friend. <laughs> also, they're not brass knuckles, they're claws. The whole point of brass knuckles is that you hit with the knuckles. Oh my 
god, not the kissy faces. With piercings. The ones with piercings do more damage. Okay, we're good. Fine gold chain. Yeah, that seems like it might be pretty useful. Ooh, this is a battle arena and I don't have a lot of heals. Oh, cool. They have me they give me a rest right here. It's a taste. I thought it was impossible. Mm -hmm. Bar doesn't have the best wines. There, yeah, we've we've mm -hmm. seen this before. Let's make <laughs> one. Oh yeah, I almost <laughs> kill you. Yeah, that's right. Um, you I actually do have the sword cufflinks to give. Boom! My tailor will adore me for using these. Thank you. There you go. All right, Isaac. Hope you enjoyed that. Oh my goodness! What is this shit? You know how I, you know what I love? That the rapier has an attack where you hold the blade and slam the pummel down on someone. <laughs> the rapier, better known as the, as the weapon where you bludgeon someone to death with the hilt. Spooky zine. Wow, I've gotten like three magazines this run. It's a lot. There's some liquid over there, but I'm like too lazy to go get it, quite frankly. Mostly. Let me go over there and take these works out. Getting so much light and dark essence from this place. God. Potted succulent. Ooh, who would like a succulent? My mind immediately jumped to Nia, but that's a totally different game. <laughs> I was like, ooh, a succulent. I can give that to Nia. No, we're playing Boyfriend Dungeon. So this evening I'm working on a carving out a cute flat four millimeter skull in solid gold. Hey. Where it calls you, if you come closer, your weapon will see your true heart. So, battle your fears. A little fear of intimacy is healthy. Nobody likes an overshare. Last, they find the root of your fear of intimacy. On guard, knave. Oh, okay, I see. I have a fear of intimacy. That's the uh, that's the one for this uh, this place. Oh God, they hurt. Bollocks. Ow. You see, it's dangerous. Better to play it safe and stay alone. We should maybe just try and focus on just attacking this. Yeah, this is a lot. There's just so many enemies and I can never get rid of all of them. Coffee, coffee. It's all of these bastards. Yeah, because they just constantly respawn. So many things! God, is this my fault? Holy shit! They just keep respawning. So, there's no point in killing them. But if you don't kill them, you have to dodge like 60 projectiles while you're trying to attack. Oh my god. That's a lot. Should be adorable, but phew, I'm on the last half and the stress of not rearing would have done to something. Yeah, that was unfortunately very close. That was rough though, god. At least I have actual stuff to do now.
Uh, oh, it's on that thing where the recipes um, are screwed up. Let's let's make the zines if I can. I still don't have enough to make the bug princess, but I can make this one. Spooky zine. And... Storm's zine. A Valkyrie band? Cool. A royal crown. Okay. Okay, what else we got? What is this? Succulents? Cool. And then whatever this is. True royalty. Okay, so I can just wear... I can just wear royalty clothes. You may not like it, but this is what the ideal body looks like. True royalty. I'll, I'll wear the Kigurumi. Doubles all damage. Five Z once. Higher chance of crit. Ooh. Enemies get stunned when they damage me. Money is pulled from further away. Doubles all damage. Okay. Well, uh, the crown's pretty good, if I'm gonna be honest. But the pretty ribbon is better, and it does the same thing, so... Yeah. Cool. Pretty ribbon. Actually, I don't think I, I don't think I want this if I'm wearing the pretty ribbon. What do I want? I'll wear the- I'll wear the royalty outfit with the pretty ribbon. Okay, so... Scares most enemies. Call down a thunder strike. Yes, please. I'm in a great mood because the parent, your parents bought you new Disney Christmas tree ornaments. Hey, that's always fun. Bing, bing, bing. Okay, so... Um, messages. Uh, pocket's missing and found a pair of brass knuckles. The knuckles are your cat. I don't know what that means. Wait, something's happening. Well, pocket's back. Anyway, sorry for the accusation. <laughs> I guess he was sleeping somewhere, and now he wants to go out. <laughs> you live in a world where people could- I, I guess- I guess the idea of animals turning into- into weapons isn't... as common, but still. You should understand the concept of it. So there, he's out. And look as he- looks like he's headed for the museum. Have fun. Thank you! A museum trip with a cat. Let's go. Find Pocket sitting outside the Verona Beach Museum. He's looking at you expectantly. Meow meow. He rolls his eyes into a yawn. Would you like to offer a gift? I don't think I have one. Yeah, not that a cat would like. Door opens suddenly. Pocket jumps out of the way, eyes wide with curiosity. <laughs> oh, if it isn't the elusive Quasi. What luck. I wanted to discuss our next date. Pocket is suddenly on full alert as if someone has stepped on his tail. God, stand back, Quasi. I know this cat. He's a dangerous wild beast. <laughs> Ugh. Eric tries to kick at Pocket, but the cat sprints past into the museum. Holy shit. Not only is Eric a stalker piece of shit that's a massive creepy weirdo, he tried to kick a cat. You do not allow dirty animals in places of, places of sophistication. Not your problem, you hate it. Never hurt him. Ah! Eric flinches back from your fury. You imagine his tail would be between his legs if he had one. You brush past him into the museum. Yeah, that's right, fucker. Oh my god. You enter just in time to see Pocket's tail disappear into the prehistoric exhibit. You follow, browsing the dinosaur bones and sur surreptitiously checking no uh, nooks and crannies. Eventually, you find him gazing at a saber toothed cat skeleton the size of a panther. Study the skeleton. Take a moment to admire the skeleton's preserved ferocity from tusk to tail. Label reads Smilodon Fatalis. Excavated in Verona Beach, California State Fossil. Pocket releases a small wheezy sigh. Is this your role model? Is this your great grandma? Or you're into it. Persistent. Finishers have wide arcs or immobilize last longer. Finishers have wide arcs would be cool. Pocket's tail swishes with sudden mischief. He pounces on your foot playfully. His whiskers vibrate with excitement as he turns from the Smilodon to run out of the museum. Security guards approach, but he's already out the door and scampering down the street. 
You browse the rest of the exhibit before heading home. Yo, what the hell happened? Uh, museum. Pocket's acting really weird. He's more educated. Well, I wish he'd stop attacking my feet. My slippers are destroyed. Jeez. Sorry. It's been a while since we've sparred, and my office has been quiet lately. How about a fencing lesson? On guard! Clock fire. <laughs> I love that I... I love that I taught Isaac how to use emojis. <laughs> it's the best. Well, hello. Seems to be getting the hang of parrying, so today we try the repost. After a parry, repost lets you thrust and return. Glances at the door, then back to you. Hmm. Here, it's easier if I show you. Go ahead and attack me. Um... Lunch! You'd never expect it. Isaac deflects easily. You, you're, you're, sh you're lean straight into his foil, pressing into your shoulder. The more aggressive the attack, the more vicious the repost. Repost turns the attacker's energy back upon them. Hmm? Isaac glances at the clock. Here, I'll attack you. Parry and step forward and attack immediately. Allay. As it slowly attacks and you parry, then thrust, making right. a touch. And that's the repost. He attacks, you practice it as a drill a few times, he's sweating more than usual. Uh. I... I guess that's enough for today. I'd like to talk to you about something. Takes off his gear and pours refreshments. Uh. Father has finished a hostile takeover of my firm. He bought a majority and discredited me with the board. So my time is just about over at Brooks Associates. I only have today and tomorrow. Try not to care what he thinks. He's a foolish, close-minded old man. <gasps> I've officially disowned him and cut off contact. But now I'm going to lose everything I've built here because of him. How can I not care? That sounds frustrating. Be proud of what you did. You still have fencing? You still have fencing? Only I were good at fulfilling his expectations. You're never going to be able to, friend. You're chasing something that's never going to happen, then they're just going to keep leading you on. <laughs> Not everyone loves fencing as much as you, my dear. But I'm really glad that I talked to you. I'm sorry to burden you. No. Oh. Wider finish damage area, reduced charge time for heavy attacks. Wider finish damage area could be good. Yeah. Uh, well, I always jump past that message thinking it's the one I've already read. I sold my stock. I'll be comfortable while I sort out what to do next. It'll be like starting over. I've lost so much. Mm. I keep trying to focus on fencing, but it's not working. Maybe we should give up for the day. Mm. Or I could make a house call for a uniquely talented fencing student like you. Sounds sexy. <laughs> not interested? Why not tonight? Sounds sexy. Well, it's tempting to want to get closer to you any way I can. <clears throat> Your temptation might be too strong for me right now. No, I'm not in a great place emotionally right now, and I dream about you. Uh, Need to know we're committed to each other before we can be intimate. <laughs> I love the little anxious. Uh. Otherwise, I'll just regret it afterwards, and I don't want to regret anything with you. Understood. Marry me. We won't go all the way. No, it's understood. Don't worry. I promise I'm not trying to rush you. I'm just being clear about my requirements. Take your time and think about it. He leans in and gives you a long kiss. I suppose it's a good night for now. Thank you for your companionship. Hey, you head home. All right. I've been dreaming about you. Zombie dreams? Heavens no, do you get those? I, I hope not. I actually do get a ton of zombie dreams, yes. You were healing broken weapons of all kinds. Me too, it was lovely. You're a comfort to me even when I'm asleep. Thank you. Okay. I'm out. So, I've had both of my dates, so back... You know what, we'll go to the college. But I was on the final boss here, but yeah, we need to, we need to, we should just go to the college. Um, alright, so... Rowan. We have so many characters we need to level up now. The acoustics here are strange. Perhaps it is interdimensional. I guess there's not a lot of attacks with you, huh? There's just like two combos. 
four combos. So X X X X X Y and then oh yeah and Y Y Y. There we go. Okay. It's a book. The most horrifying part of college for sure. I loved reading in college. God. I wish uh, the pin throwing out Fs is the most terrifying part. I guess the most terrifying part of college was uh, starting to do work on uh, a particular niche topic that you have and not having enough uh, good sources to use for your thesis. That always sucks. When you're like, I have such a cool thesis idea, but the sources just aren't there. Or when you think you found a cool source, but it's on like JSTOR or some shit, so you can't get access to it. That's always fun too. Owie, that is a very angry stapler. We have teleporters. Oh god, there's so many projectiles. Okay, the lightning strike, very, very strong. Quite like the lightning strike. Stupid pen. I swear. Pick up a lot of magazines here. staples at me so rude ah yes library oh if there was gonna be a date spot this would be the one for my wife oh yes I remember this little collection they call the library be cute except they accept money to educate people I've heard I'll grant that most true learning comes from experience even so you still need proper reference materials and theory as a foundation this is a disgrace you should teach <laughs> no Teach strangers my arts for money. No, no, my talents lie squarely elsewhere. You'd make a far better professor than I with your evident charm and strength of will. Ah, oh, well, if I became if I become bothered by every foolishness in this world, I'll be paralyzed for life. Uh, do I have something you would like as a gift? No, I need to find the the character that likes alcohol. Who just likes drinking? Besides Sage. I do always like the flying book enemies in games. Oh yeah, Sunder's the one I probably give the drinks to. That makes sense. I haven't actually talked to Sunder in quite a bit, and I definitely don't plan to romance Sunder, so... Hello, new DLC area. Oh, hey, this is a DLC area? Interesting. Ether. Parasite recipe. Excuse me, I can get a parasite. Cat toy, finally. Also, yeah, hey, Gondola. How are you? Yeah, this wasn't present when I played it release. Ah. Having fun with Rowan? Uh, I'm not super crazy about the scythe, but yeah. I like Rowan, I just don't like their weapon too much. Although, the new effect that I have is pretty good. This little stacking buff effect that I get. Let me see exactly what it was. When an enemy dies, get a brief damage boost that can stack up to three times. That thing. 
It's just the little uh, crow skulls there. I definitely think out of the weapons, the ones I like the most are like... Isaac, uh, Valeria. Um, I thought I would like Pockets more, but Pockets is a little bit hard to use sometimes. So I should have done the other area first. This is, uh, this is DLC. Yeah, seven's really good too. But, I mean, taking a break from the other place just seems like a good idea, considering I got bodies so many times. Oh my god, Jesus. I'm just trying to get over here to this thing. Stop throwing your Fs at me. I hope the boss is just a giant... A giant, like, note from a teacher that says, I'm sorry, this thesis doesn't have enough sources. Enough viable sources. I will never not be sad about that, because I had two different projects in school, one of them being my history capstone, that fell apart because there just wasn't enough sources for the topper. <sighs> oh my god. phone's going off? There we go. <sighs> yeah, I would be more into Jonah because Jonah is strong, but <clears throat> I don't like a lot of the stuff. I like really, really fast-paced weapons, at least in something like this. Um, I like to move very fast, so Jonah's not super my style. Like if when I when I play Hades, I like using the gun. Or the starting sword. So. These boxes again. I'd have thought people would be tired of them by now. Computers are supposed to be people, you know, not machines. Never more. But I keep seeing more and more of these box-type computers everywhere. Oh. They're self-replicating or diseased. I heard they get virus and mice infestations. Nope, just popular. Hmm. I suppose some popular things have merit. Some Shakespeare, for example, is decent. <laughs> I'm sometimes tempted to investigate the web where the collective human experience has migrated, but don't do it. It's not worth it. It's absolutely not worth it. I think I'll give these another 10 or 20 years before I bother. Would like to offer a gift? Uh, no. <laughs> if I'm lucky, these computer boxes will fall out of favor again and I'll be saved the trouble. In the meantime, I'll be getting stronger and sharper here on the Astral Plane, you know, re reality. Rowan's the vampire? Yeah, could be. Oh, pin, please. It would be hilarious if the pin just threw out, like, common things that professors would say about your writing, like... Introduce your thesis better. <laughs> I really can't tell what your thesis is. that exit really fast. Oh wow, it tells me how many floors this is. <laughs> Verona College, semester four of eight. Oh god, this college is going by just as fast as my other college is. Holy fucking hammer! Holy fucking hammer. I get comments on my sentences being too long. I think if I remember my main things were just getting kind of rambly because sometimes I would be searching for things to do, but yeah, getting kind of rambly, just general, like, unstructured paragraphs and things like that, just having to refine a bunch of that stuff. I did use uh, semicolons like a, like a motherfucker, though. 
Hammer. <coughs> Big cool hammer. The ornate hammer trembles in your hands, then transforms. Come on. Come on. Ice hammer? Ice is one of my favorite elements. Hole? Hole? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Cool weapon? She's cute? Uh oh. You have got to be kidding me! Stuck as a hammer again? You're. You're not from the association, are you? Uh, we still need to see some personality, but you're making a strong case for yourself. Uh huh, association? The sports association. No? <sighs> she eyes you suspiciously, then sighs. That's frustrating, but I guess it's not your fault. I really am glad I'm not stuck in hammer form. I should thank you. Do you want to come by my gym for a smoothie sometime? Oh, gym. Okay, okay, the workout character. I'm down. I'll let you know when I'm there, if you want to join me. Oh, by the way, I'm Leah Martillo. I'll... I'll text you. Maybe. She hurries away looking embarrassed. Okay. We have a potential competitor to Seven and, uh, and Rowan. Because you're cool. So that's a DLC character then, huh? I guess I should mention Val Valeria as well. I do like Valeria too. I just need to have some more uh, dates with her because I haven't for quite a bit. These pins, I swear to God. These pins clearly belong to my anthropology professor. God. Yeah, this is a relatively short dungeon. Wow. And I'm making my way through it. You know my favorite thing I heard students uh, get knocked for was not having stapled their paper the correct way? for not stapling your paper the correct way. I... Okay, so... <clears throat> my terrible comp sci teacher... Um, I had an awful comp sci teacher who I just... I, I hated. Um, and we went into class and he wanted us to write a 20-page comp sci paper. Um, and everybody turned it in. And, uh, he was like, these papers were supposed to be single space. And, uh, everybody was like, supposed to be single space? Why didn't you say that? He's like, this is how all papers are written. They're all single space. And we were like, no, every single other paper I've written at this college the, this entire time I've been here has been double spaced. And he's like, well, all of you need to rewrite it because it needs to be 20 pages single, single space. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> This was also the same teacher, though, that, um, when, uh, we took a test online, he put the answer in, in all lowercase, and the, uh, answer field was text sensitive. So if you capitalized the proper noun, um, it counted it as wrong. And when people brought it up, because, like, half the class missed this question on the test, he said, don't worry about it, it all works out in the end. And we were like, this is my grade, I paid for this. And he was like, you all are, are just stuck on grades so much. It's like, well, we're, we're paying for this. I, if I get the answer right, I, I want to have the answer shown as correct on my test, please. Hi, this, that, that feature was terrible. Whew. Apparently a specific distance and orientation from the edge. Yeah, I had, um... I had some teachers get really, really, um, into, God, what was it? There was something very specific, how they wanted it done a very specific way that no other teacher did. And I'm not talking about the double space thing, but I can't remember what it was. Mm. 
Miss the new girl she married? Probably not. I haven't found the professor yet, so... Unless that was the professor? If that was the professor, because we were we were told to go here because I was supposed to find the professor. So now that I think about it, I guess that was the professor. But what are you a professor of? You said, are we from the association? Hmm. Things to think about. Of course I'm hot. I got hots for the teacher. That also likes the gym. Hot gym teacher. Uh, yeah. So uh, we've already had this. Um, you should teach. No. Yeah. <clears throat> Was the professor at the bottom? If that's the case, then that's different. But we're halfway to the bottom. <laughs> Alright, Rowan. Gotta go to... Let's do Jonah. Jonah's the lowest leveled right now. Alright, big lad. Uh, let's see... Yeah, just XXY and... Just XXX. Those are your only combos. And that one's by far the best one. The main thing with Jonah is just swinging like crazy, so you fly across the screen. It's kind of phenomenal. does do a shit ton of damage. I will give him that. Oh, Two things of coffee. Yeah, that's a room that exists. God, this would be a fantastic time to be using Sawyer and have uh, the ranged attack I can utilize. Okay, nothing there. Uh, it might have been that top that is placed straight to the north of me right now. Oh! God, these stupid pens! So college has to be fear of failure, right? Fear of failure. Gotta be. With them shooting Fs everywhere and stuff, and it's college, I mean, come on. Fear of office supplies? Oh man, is Aerie gonna be the boss here? God. I hate you so much! Fucking die, you piece of shit, stapler! God! So this bum all lasted, Ugh. huh? Hate staplers. Alright, at least I maxed out Jonah. Or got your level at least. I mean, we made it pretty far. Beep, beep, beep. All right. Um, can I make the thing? God, seventeen of that material. It's gonna be hard to make, Bug Princess. Up on my gym for a smashing good time. Yeah, I was I, I mentioned earlier, yeah, I hope they're not legit ambulance rides either, because if they are, we are in debt. <laughs> we are in so much. 
<sighs> I remember seeing a, a meme that was like, ah ha ha, that's funny, but it's also incredibly sad because it's true. <gasps> look at the little parasite! Oh my god, I'm totally wearing- look at how adorable that parasite is. Nah. Nah, that's an adorable parasite, come on. Look at you! Triple player damage. Oh, look at you! Look at you siphoning out my- my everything. Oh. It's adorable, but it triples my damage, so I gotta go back to the pretty ribbon. <laughs> but, it is very cute. I'm gonna get the spooky zine. Yeah, I... We might be able to buy the materials. I'll have to go check, like, here. And various other places. So this gives... Yeah, those things. Hey, Rowan, I've got a special friend now, too. It's perfect. I'm not going to Eric's shop. If Eric's shop's what sells it, I don't want it. Welcome. You sell everything but what I need. Damn it. Hmm. I mean, I can also just buy some of that. And we might as well buy some glue too while I'm here. I have so much money. Not going into Eric's shop. I refuse. So if I can't get it from El Granero or uh, Champion Athleisure, I I just I don't know. Uh, uh, no, I don't wanna. <laughs> I need to stay as far away from that fucker as possible. All right, Rowan and Pockets, let's go. You hear squawking and meowing echoing down the street. <laughs> Pocket morales as if in warning. Crowley replies with an annoyed call. Good day. Look, both of you, here's Quasi. Maybe they can help you decide. Crowley and Pocket found a freshly dead mouse at the same moment. Crowley says he deserves it because he wouldn't waste the bones. Crowley bobs in agreement. Pocket says he deserves it because he's the greatest cat that ever lived. <laughs> Pocket <laughs> agrees cheerily. Hmm. What do you think they should do? Um... Split it in half. Caw caw. Hiss. Now they're fighting over who gets which half. This will never end. Yeah, that was a terrible choice. Get it, Crowley. We're going home. I'll get you your own mouse. Thanks, Quasi. Blessed be. Oh, I fucked up everything. Okay, at least that maxed out Rowan. All right, so... Quasi, sorry, but can you help me out with something? Uh, maybe. What is it? I found a potentially perfect job, but I feel a little weird about it. It's at the... It's at night at the lighthouse. I'm a little nervous. Can you come with me, please? Of course. Thank you. See you there. Bye, Jonah. Urgent! Have you seen Crowley? Only with you. He's gone. Really gone. I don't know what to do. I'll be right there. Yeah, that sounds serious. Hey, Quasi, I haven't forgotten I owe you a smoothie. Drop on my gym for a smashing good time. Their kale is really uh, fresh. Kale, more like fail. <laughs> I'm into it. Can't wait. Okay, that's it. I am, of course, going to go see Rowan first because their thing sounds pretty similar, so... Or pretty, uh, serious. Yeah, I'm not a big Good fan day. of Kale. Find Rowan pacing back and forth, distressed. Facts. Was it a demon, perhaps, or a vengeful spirit? This has never happened before. Maybe I drove him away. I have been difficult lately. Ugh. I've looked everywhere. I've set out his favorite snacks. It's been two days and no sign. Take a deep breath. I'm trying, believe me, but what if he's actually really gone? I just lost Alice. I can't stand to lose him, too. It'd be more efficient to split up and look, but I don't want to be alone right now. I don't want to ever be alone, really. That's why I got a familiar in the first place. Where should we start? Um, the mountain? Yes. Yes, there we'll have a good view of the town and our voices will carry further, too. No time to waste. 
Maybe Crowley left to go pick up the rat. Never adapted a taste for it. It's like raw hide and veggie form. Yeah, I mean, that's that's most vegetables just generally a hell of a lot better if you just cook them right. But with kale specifically, I'm always just been like, I feel like I would rather just have something else if I had to choose between kale or something else. Check out the mountainside calling for Crowley. Crowley! When the breeze blows in response, Roman grits their teeth, clearly gathering resolve. If he really is dead, then I hope it was swift and painless. Don't think about that yet. Facts! Denial won't change reality. I must know the truth. Let's just keep looking. Maybe the beach? He likes to harass seagulls. <laughs> they reach for your hand as if to hold it. Um. Based off of experience with these things, I've been told pressure is good in a stressful situation like this. So squeeze? Uh. They release a small grateful sigh. Yay! We walk together hand in hand across town to the beach as the sun sets. Crowley! From Son of the Raven, the seagulls play in the winds over the ocean. Crowley, you idiot, where are you? When I first bound Crowley to me as my familiar, he was just a fluffy little chick. I knew I'd probably outlive him, but I thought I'd have more time. It's only been six years. Don't give up yet. Oh. I'm not, I'm just not sure what else to do. Never mind, anyway, I tried, but he's gone. Either on another plane or doesn't want to answer. Rowan wipes at their eyes, clearing their throat as dusk gives way to night. Really, your woman approaches from down the beach looking worried. Hey. Hey, Quasi Rowan. Everything okay between you both? Heard some shouting. Everything's under control, Mandy. Quasi is just helping me look for Crowley. Aww. Familiar's gone missing? Doesn't sound like him. I know, he's been acting strange for a few days now. But also, most veggies are bad if cooked wrong, and usually only chefs and vegetarians know how to cook them. They're terrible at most restaurants, unless it's a specialty place of some kind. Yeah. I haven't heard or anything. I'll let you know if I do. You're a bird watcher? Mm-hmm. Of a sort. I'll ask around at the club. See you later, I hope. She tricks off down the beach thoughtfully. Rowan releases a long breath as a sigh. Let's just take a break and regroup at home. He will help us think. Good idea. Rowan nods, scanning his guys one last time before turning homeward. I'm actually super into veggies, even raw with nothing to them. I just really do not like raw kale. Definitely the most approachable veggie for me has been, like, broccoli. Um, I made some broccoli that was pretty good. But generally... Generally my issue with just that kind of stuff in general is I already have a hard time getting my appetite going. So when I have a hard time getting my appetite going, I always go for the lazy thing, just because it's easy, and I usually like it more. Which isn't a good habit, but... Oftentimes, if I try to force myself to eat something I'm just not into, I just will instead not eat. Walk back to the mansion together in an awkward silence. Rowan closes the door behind you and hesitates, brow furrowed. <coughs> you smell that? It's like tea is brewing already. Nevermore. <laughs> Rowley! In the name of all goddesses are you doing here? I've been looking everywhere for you. Raven looks away, coughing. Nevermore. Crowley flutters up onto Rowan's shoulder and starts softly preening their hair. Um. Well, once was enough. I'm not forgiving you that easily. I was very upset. Rowan turns to you. They still seem emotional, but you notice their shoulders are more relaxed. Thanks for all your help today. Without you, it would have truly been a nightmare. My rank four. Gravity well lasts longer. Gravity wells are bigger. Honestly, them just being bigger is fine. See you in the dungeon. Slight smile, the first you've seen them manage all day. Rowan touches their fingertips to their lips, and then the air and farewell. Minimum viable dinner. I had a cat who really liked to perch on shoulders, much like a bird. Yeah, one of my cats was like that. Seems Crowley was a little jealous of you. Maybe insecure, too. He's not really used to me having friends, or potential lovers for that matter. <laughs> On the plus side, he's bonded with good old Roosevelt. Sorry for all the fuss, Crowley is sorry too. 
<laughs> the teddy bear's name is Roosevelt. Are you okay? Yes, I appreciate you asking, though. Thanks. Bye bye. There we go. Phew. I actually need to. Something I need to get back into eating uh, more of is um, tofu because tofu is delicious when made well. And I've had a few times where I made it very, very well and I loved it. Um, but uh, tofu actually requires like planning out a meal for a week um, and doing a bunch of things with it to make it good. And I've been very lazy and overwhelmed by work recently. God, we're see we're still leaving. Oh yeah, no, fuck that. If I could block him, I would. I just eat tofu raw sometimes. I could do it. Like, I could. But... I usually like... It depends on- it, it, it depends on the texture too, because, you know, of course there's different types of tofu. I like it firm, but I also like it, you know, just kind of soft and soups and stuff. He's not on red though, there's a damn notification. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. I don't- I don't- I don't want- I don't want him to even see it's red. I'm not letting my stalker abuser see that I actually read the message. I want them to think I'm not even getting the messages so they leave me the fuck alone. Interacting with them at all just gives them more rope. So no, he's not getting any rope. I have firm tofu and we have incredible handmade tofu that we love to order too. It has lots of flavor. That sounds good. Hi. Hey Quasi, so glad you came. She hands you a smoothie menu. Anything look good? Fluffernutter is usually like, what, peanut butter and banana? Tropical Passion, the green goddess. Um, Tropical Passion, usually me. Probably got like, uh, pineapple, some citrus, passion fruit maybe. If, it, 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 dragon fruit's always cool. Mapo tofu? Ooh, mapo tofu. Tropical Passion is me. Ooh, passion. Something I can appreciate in a person. Hold heavy attack to spin? Oh no. Huh. I always take the green goddess. I'm a creature of habit. Or at least I was before. Shadow falls over the table as a man approaches. Leah. Where have you been hiding? Stranger bounces excitedly into view. Uh oh. Uh. I'm not hiding, I just. Oh, where are my manners? Carlos, this is Quasi. Quasi, this is Carlos. We skate together. Hello. We haven't skated together much lately. Quasi, is it? I mean, we used to. Well, until... So? Oh, yeah, I didn't mean... Oh, I heard you were coaching! How's that? <sighs> it's a thing. How are the trials going for a new partner? Anyone look surprising? Good. I mean, okay, you know, you can't be replaced, but... <gasps> oh, wait, are you on a date? Well, we were. <laughs> Uh, Fluffernuffer's peanut butter and fluff? Oh, uh, That's an interesting thing for like a fitness smoothie. Yeah, that's an interesting one for a fitness smoothie. I would have guessed like... Cause yeah, now that that makes sense because the Fluffernutter bars at um, the place I go to is just, yeah, basically peanut butter and marshmallow fluff, but... That's a weird like fitness smoothie choice. And after playing Mata Nui and voicing all the characters in that, I have a newfound appreciation for the voiceover that you do. That shit was hard. I kept forgetting what voices I give characters. Yeah, it can be a lot. Uh, especially depending on all the different... how many different characters there are in a game. I've just been doing it for a bit at this point, so I'm a little bit more used to it, but it it's tough to keep track of everyone. Peanut butter and bananas. Yeah, Chunky Elvis. That's what peanut butter and bananas. Because that's what my wife gets. Uh, mm, just chatting. Hi. Carlos. <laughs> Carlos laughs. Oh, okay. I'll stop boring Quasi with all the skating stuff. Says your name with extra emphasis, like he wants to make sure you know he'll remember it. Listen, Leah, love. It's been too long. I miss you. Please let me cook for you. We'll just chill out. Quasi can come if they want to. 
Uh... Yeah, yeah, totally. We'll plan something. Nia twists nervously at her hair. Joe. Okay, bye, lovely. Bye. Uh, okay, so you, you have your own Eric. Oof, sorry, that was so awkward, Quasi. Carlos and I were training for the Grand Olympiad in pairs figure skating. We had a really good shot, too. And then I destroyed my knee in both our careers. <sighs> Carlos and I trained as a pair since we were kids. I can never make it up to him. Not your fault. Carlos would never blame me, but I know it's hurt him. It's taken me a year just to be able to skate normally on it, and the doctors say no jumps ever again. I miss the speed, the lifts, the throws, air and adrenaline. Oh. Yeah, that's unfortunate when you basically lose the ability to do something that you're very, very invested in. You're fearless. Pretty daring yourself, taking on the dungeon the way you do. Mm. You have that much in common. Drain the last bit of your smoothie. Wonder if I a voice on myself just so I can stick with one voice. I love figure skating, beautiful sport. Yeah, figure skating's great. It's always super beautiful to watch. Would you like to offer a gift? Oh! I... My controller did the double A button press thing, but it was also something you loved, so... Cool, what was, what was in my first gift slot? <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I guess it's getting late. Maybe we can get together again sometime? Uh, definitely. Yeah, great. I'm not sure what else to say, so until next time, bye! Bye! Smiles, waves goodbye, and runs away. I'm guessing food? Maybe the cupcakes? Yeah, she said sweet. I think I had truffles in the first slot, because yeah, I tried to give truffles to Sawyer once, and they were like, no, I hate this. So, I think it was the truffles. It was fun to hang out with you. You're a great listener. But maybe we talk too much about me. Let's make up for it now. Do you like cats, dogs, or ferrets? What's your favorite music? What are the sexiest answers? Wow, my, my greatest Sunder cosplay. Definitely cats. Just as I suspected. Uh-oh. See you soon, I hope. Uh-oh. You read me. Bouquet of daisies. Ah, flowers. Okay. That was what was in the first slot. Interesting. I had just made that too. Handy. Yeah, no, that was a great catch. A bowler. Well, I got a bowler. Nope. Nope. No, Eric. Fuck you. Okay. Um, where to now? Hey, you're hanging out over here. Find Leah in a deep, uh, deep in a mound of discarded clothes, sorting through them for Isaac. Surely you could wear some colors, sometimes just a little bit. Right. I do. The difference between black and pearl and after midnight are nothing to sneeze at, my dear. What about, you know, actual colors like green or purple? Uh. Isaac looks away uncomfortably. <laughs> Orange? Isaac seizes on your presence to change the topic. Well, hello. Oh, Quasi, surely you were interested in trying on some boldly colored clothes. Uh, don't rip me in, need help. Have you tried pink? Need help, Leah? Uh. Thanks, but it's ultimately up to him, isn't it? I can't force him. This wasn't even my idea, remember? You said you wanted a wardrobe refresh. So buck up, be brave. You're strong enough to wear orange. I believe in you. Hmm. Defeat my fears of masculinity, or I thought I did. And Vincent would hate it. All right, I'll try it. A kiss for luck? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I skimmed... I skimmed the options really quick. I skimmed the options really quick. And... Kiss him, and blow a kiss. Kinda got mixed up in my head, so I could've sworn it just said blow him. <laughs> it's like, Jesus, what an escalation! <laughs> I was like, oh my god. <laughs> like, where the throat fell. <laughs> when you burned it. <laughs> Fair enough. Leah smiles and makes chewing motions at Isaac towards the changing rooms. Isaac grits his teeth and marches into the changing room with a handful of colorful shirts. 
Your clothes being tried on with slightly panicked undertones. There's an ominous <clears throat> silence and an anguished cry. What's wrong? Are you okay? Do I need to bust down the door? <sighs> Isaac reemerges in the same old clothes. I just... I can't do it. I can't open this door wearing this. It's too much. Sorry to disappoint you both. It's okay, you tried. Took some photos I can look at later to maybe help get used to the idea. Mm -hmm. Do you think less of me? Oh, Zach, don't be silly. Go back to your favorite tailor and ask about Black and Pearl, then. Yes. Thank you. Sounds much more accommodating, yes. Maybe we can try this again someday. I'll work on it. You do that. In the meantime, I'm getting this one for Carlos. I love it. Hey, look at that. Already maxed you out. I didn't even have to go into the dunge. Say goodbye and head all together. Okay. Let's see. I'm teaching a lot these days. So you are the teacher. I'm teaching a lot these days, but I'd love to see you again. Meet me at the skating ring? Sure. Ooh, maybe we can get some fries or something. Nothing beats arena fries. Okay, sounds cool. I personally don't really like ice skating for reasons, but, uh... Inter-character interactions are also new. Yeah, I remember you, men you mentioned those were new last time, and I was like, really? That adds so much to the game. I'm surprised that's, like, a new thing. Because it's fantastic. Finally alone, skating long, meditative strokes. Her blades carve a deep, ripping sound into the ice. She sees you and comes to a stop beside the boards. Hey. Ozzy, it's good to see a friendly face. Oh, I like your outfit! <clears throat> Rough session? You can say that again. She takes off her skates, her fingers pull the laces quickly, automatically. I've been working with this student, Sophia, very talented. She wipes the blades dry and puts the skates in her bag. <sighs> She's unfocused, frustrated. She struggles with her double axle. I hate it when that happens, when I am also struggling with my double axle. Wait, wait, what? Is that so? Jump where you skate forward, then leap into the air on one foot. Yeah, no, I know, I know what a double axle is, but sometimes I feel like the release was a bit more early access than anything. Well, they want to skate now. My wife's been wanting to skate really uh, a lot too. One of the uh, local colleges around here has like a little, you know, pop up skating rink that they have. Through two and a half rotations, she turns on her toes in an awkward little dance and land backwards. She, she sticks the landing. Or if you're Sophia, two rotations land forward, boom, butt on the ice. Ow, ow, ow. Sophia's really tough. I think she'll get it if we keep working on it. How long till this turns into Yuri on ice? Could happen. I still need to see Yuri on ice. I never watched it one open all year here. Yeah, we have one that's open all the time near, like, in, in a town over, basically. This view is really tough. I think she'll get it if we keep working on it. Every time she falls, she gets right back up and tries again without complaining, but her mom... Mom stands by the boards the entire practice, shouting. Sophia, you're not trying. Sophia, you're wasting time. Oh, God, not one of those parents. Ugh. That are putting all of their failed hopes and dreams on their child so that they can live vicariously through them. Through sports. Ugh. What could possibly fo who could possibly focus on that kind of harassment? Sorry, she just really gets under my skin even just thinking about it. <sighs> she excels slowly and seems to regain her composure. Who are we marrying and why is it Leah? Leah is a very strong contender because because cool, hot, and hammer. I'd ask her to leave the association is on my case to make her happy. I cannot deliver the results if she keeps interfering and psyching Sophia out. Leah glares as if she can smash the ice with a look. Teaching is challenging. I never tell if I'm doing it right. Like, are results the main thing? How unhappy can my athlete get before it's just destructive? Stretch is relaxing. Would you like to offer a gift? Do I have more flowers? Succulents? Yeah, you liked it. It's kind of you. I'll take good care of it, thanks. Let's go for a walk. I wonder if her injured knee affects her weapon form, or if it does at all. That would be some- that would be cool. If they managed to tie the, the plot and game, the gameplay together like that. 
Sometimes I daydream about doing something else. I do like how you change outfits as well. I don't feel like we've seen many other characters do that. Enemies who hit walls take extra damage. Oh my god, it's it's the Poseidon boon that you get in Hades. Where when people crash in the walls, they take extra damage. That's awesome. Enemy who hit walls are stunned. She looks like she's afraid of being followed. Her voice drops to a whisper. Something outside of skating. Uh, what, 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 what do you, what do you, uh... Ah, uh, Hades character. I never picked that. Sorry, Leah, not meant to be. I used the Poseidon abilities a lot. They were fun. What do you have in mind? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I still love skating and coaching is something I'm learning. But I miss, I don't know, my own training and I have creative interests too, like... She looks around again, still suspicious. No. I can't say it. D tell me when you're ready. Thanks, maybe another time. I don't know if I want to make it real by saying it out loud. She hesitates. You notice you're on a secluded path under a beautiful shade tree. Not to change topic, but I totally want to change topic. I love your blush face. Mm. Is your um, kissing as on point as your listening skills? Uh, let's find out. She looks at you shyly, then leans in for a kiss that deepens and grows sensual, yet somehow athletic. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Are we kissing each other while doing handstands? After a few passionate moments, you separate. Seems like the answer is yes. I hope we can do more of it soon. Um... But you know, work and everything. I don't know my schedule either. We can play it by ear. Bye. Leah inches away with a little smile, waving goodbye. Now she's lifting you up? God, I hope so. This is where it gets weird, because I've mentioned before that like all of the characters seem like they're older than Sawyer. I'm I'm currently just I just made out with a professor, and Sawyer is a student. That age gap is big. Sawyer is just way too young for me. I understand they probably put like multiple ages in here to make it make more sense, but God. You're going to jail in the end, kind of saw it coming. Aren't you like talking in chat from jail? Aren't you using like your five minutes of phone call to talk in my chat? Because remember you did war crimes in Valkyria Chronicles. She's a sports professor though, wouldn't they tend to be on the younger side? Uh. I don't know. I mean, at least the college I went to, you still had to have a degree in your preferred field. It didn't matter what um, you were doing. The coaching, yes, but I think technically Sunder's the oldest, really. I would have expected Jonah, but I guess Sunder would have been like my second choice. Yeah, you gotta go soon. Have fun, Leafy. Don't get stabbed over some ramen noodles, okay? Very more zines, but fewer beverages. I'm good. I still can't believe we can just put on a parasite. That's fantastic. All right. Phone. I've been thinking about you and that kiss. Mostly thinking about how nice it is uh, to spend time with you. <laughs> Shades for sure. You're a good listener. Felt a lot better after talking to you. Just want you to know I appreciate that. My pleasure. Looking forward to getting to know you better. Yeah, let's go dunge! I think the console is also new. Oh yes, the, uh, the, the thing added in specifically for bugs. Okay, well, um, this is Valeria in you? See in here, because the colors are complementary, they feel more intense. Like color blocking, that does make sense. Lighthouse? I'll do the lighthouse after I do all of these little character events, because I think these disappear if you do something new. The lighthouse isn't going anywhere. But, uh, this stuff might disappear? Jonah can wait, it's fine. I think I'll have to replay this. It's fun. My color blocking, that does make sense. Huh? Only blocking color is an early step in a painting before moving on to details. Is that what you mean? Or, no, it's a fashion term, but don't worry about it. Please go on. Get a little more into it. I like to lean on cooler colors for pieces about intuition or abstraction. 
or reserving warmer colors for more energy or something more physical and social. That makes sense. Different color and shades doing different things is a real thing. How's that factor in when considering the season, do you think? Like, take Quasi here. They always look fantastic, of course, but I think they look best in warm colors. So I'd say they're spring or summer, but would you analyze it differently? <laughs> I'd say the warmth is because they uh, make us want to get out there and slay monsters. I thought of it that way. I don't know, Quasi. What seasons do you prefer to wear? Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no. Two hot people stare at me and ask me questions about how I look good. Um, I would probably just say, huh? <laughs> I'd just be like, uh, 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 I prefer fall or winter if I'm going to be honest. Oh, so I was wrong. Good to know. Maybe that means it's time to try something new. I'd love to try new combinations of pieces and accessories to explore new sides of myself. Even if I tend to wear the same thing most days, I guess that says something too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I think your creations say more about you than anything you could wear. It's been ages since you made me these gloves, but they're still my favorite. They fit perfectly. They look good! Thanks. I know, I mean, uh, thanks. Um... Would you mind letting us continue the color theory discussion? Yeah, so sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm stupid. Uh, yeah, I love the chat, but I don't have much time until I run to my next thing. Sure, have fun! We will. See you soon, I hope. I'm sorry, I interrupted with my stupid. Purple makes me think winter, but could be otherwise. Yeah, purple kind of makes me think, like, winter. Leah smiles encouragingly as Valeria picks up where she huh? left off. Nature, I find I often see split complementary palettes, which aren't exactly compliments. Yeah. <laughs> I mostly just like fall and winter clothes because, uh, quite frankly, from a very, very young age, I've liked wearing it. I've liked being as covered up as much as possible, and I just feel comfier th then. Even in elementary school, I would always be bummed when it was time to get, like, shorts and shit back out because I just don't like wearing those as much, and I like wearing, like, a hoodie and stuff like that. I like feeling cozy. Alright, Jonah, I guess it's time. You heard to where you thought you saw someone the same size and shape as... as Jonah. <laughs> Large. There's just a big rock. Oops. <laughs> God. I feel like this is the perfect time to mention when we were out today, when we sent that picture in the Discord, I also saw a book that I laughed at because it was just a book called The Quest for Bears. And I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> the quest for bears. I feel like all the characters in this game are top tier. Pocket is cat uh, tier, then Sawyer is Sawyer tier. Rip. Sorry, Jonah. The lighthouse light briefly swings over you, blinding you. As your vision returns, you sense someone standing very close to you. Oh, no. Oh, it's you. Well, hello, little morsel. Hey. Oh, hey. It's you, Sunder's playmate. I don't know where my contact went. People are so unreliable in this century. Maybe I'll do. Do you mind making someone stop talking about something quietly? Um... That... that by kissing them? <laughs> Who is it? Uh... Oh, nobody you'd know. Just an inconvenience. I suppose you wouldn't have to kill them, but it's the most intimate option. After all, what's more intimate than death? You only get one, you know. Speaking of which, on second thought, maybe we can do something else. The reason why Sunder should have all the fun, this can be our secret. I mean, we're here all alone, just you, me, and the moon. Um. 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 Uh. You're coming on strongly, and I feel like I'm in danger, and my organs are about to be harvested. Uh, my bear is on the way, actually. There they are. We can just wait for them here together. Breathe in deep, will you? Mm. She licks her lips and cups your face in her hands. Her finger, fingers are cool against your cheeks. Yeah, okay, okay. You're the vampire! You're the vampire! I mean, this is one of those situations where, yes, Mandy, this is hot, but also I don't want to die. 
<laughs> I'm too attached to life, all right? The lower brain doesn't have complete control over me yet, <laughs> all right? Teeth are strangely sharp. Stop right there. You stay the fuck away, I have no shirt. They're both fans, uh, Sunder and Mandy. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. With how they kept wanting to get me alone and stuff. And it's a very common fetish to lead into. And here's my bear in shining armor. Enemies hit by a light attack have a 50% chance of being stunned. If you kill an enemy with a swing, the next target hit by that swing takes a critical hit. Hmm. I think I'll stick with Chop Chop. An axe swings menacingly into view. Mandy leaps forward with surprising speed. Uh. I need to startle the girl. We were just having a moment. Nothing to be worried about. I'm going to hide behind my bear. Jonah shifts the human form hurriedly. Ah, uh, so you're... J j j j j j j jizz for jellyfish? J-I's for jellyfish? Punctuality can be life or death in this line of work. Uh. Not just me, I'm just this person's friend. Me say so. And he melts into the night, leaving you alone with Jonah. Huh? Jonah, this is the time to reveal that you're actually a werewolf. Yeah, no, I saw her eyes were red. Oh yeah, J is four because the I was capitalized. J is for jellyfish? Yeah. Not not so loud, but yeah, let's walk while we talk. I have adrenaline to burn. He starts waltzing decisively. You have to hurry a little bit to keep up. You hear him muttering sentence fragments to himself. You've never seen him angry like this? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, obviously I'm fine. Sorry, I didn't mean to snap. I'm just really mad at myself. Sorry. Really sorry, Quasi, for putting you in danger. I'm supposed to be a pacifist, but I don't know what I would have done if she had hurt you. Something I'd regret, I'm sure. And if I didn't, I'd regret that even more. And then, even if things went to plan, what... What, I was going to beat someone up for money? Disgusting. <sighs> Guess I should say I'm more disappointed in myself than mad, but honestly, I'm both. I always go on not wanting to be seen as a weapon, and that's what I fell back on. Told you lighthouses are always dangerous? Nah, lighthouses are sometimes chill. Much of the dungeons has made it feel more normal for sure, but it's not your fault either. Most a tool for hurting things. I'm a tool and a hypocrite. Mm. Also, fun fact, um, Wifey has watched the stream a little bit, and we got an update on, on Wifey's choice. Um, and she said, she doesn't know anything about any other personalities yet, but she said, the, the, the big one with blonde hair and a beard, and I was like, oh, yeah, is that, is that who you choose? You choose Jonah the cinnamon roll. And she's like, oh, he's a cinnamon roll? And I was like, yes. She's like, yes, that's my choice, then. You're my favorite jellyfish. He stops and smiles, just a little. <laughs> Thanks, I mean, I bet you don't know many other jellyfish, but I'll take it. Besides, jellyfish sting people, right? So it's almost like they're a weapon. Honestly, the only way I can stand myself as an axe is in your hands. So let's get back to the dungeon, okay, if you forgive me. See ya. Walks with you towards town and squeezes your shoulder and goodbye. Head home. All horror have lighthouses? I've seen plenty of, like, wholesome things with lighthouses and stuff. All horror has... Like, some of the biggest tropes for horror is, like, an abandoned wheelchair that just has nobody in it that is just sitting there. That's a very, very big one that I see in, like, every horror game. Um... What's el what else? There's there's something else. Red means scary. Jonah needs too much therapy for me. That is what makes him interesting, though. He does have a lot going on, but... It is interesting. Thanks for being there for me. That might have been the low point of my life, to be honest. Uh, are you okay? I don't know yet. 
Can I tell if I need more time to think more, or maybe I need time to not think, you know? To just be. Either way, I guess life goes on. See you around. Well, like if it involves a lighthouse, it's often horror. I don't know. I guess I haven't played a lot of horror games with a lighthouse in it. I've played way more horror games with, unfortunately, an asylum in it, because, uh, far, far too many horror games in, uh, you know, like the 2000s and before that were like, oh, an asylum! People with mental illness are spooky and scary! Woo! So, there's a lot of that. But I don't really leave, read a lot of, like, Horror fiction, um, like, well, like fiction, but horror, horror books, I should say. Stumbling over my words here, because I'm a fool. Usually when I've seen, like, um, a lighthouse specifically in horror, it's been, like, some cosmic horror shit. Alright, I guess we're, uh... You know what, we should just go back to La Rosa. Um... Sunder... Everybody else is... Oh, oh wait, no, we gotta use Leah. Is it a good idea to use Leah for the boss fight? Probably not. Going down. My fear of intimacy. You spin me right round, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Okay. Weapon info. X, 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 Y, and Y, Y, and then Death Spiral. Hold heavy attack to spin and knock back. Okay. Ooh, Y, Y, Y seems really good. <laughs> it's so alarming to hear Hello Meat spin. Ugh, there needs to be in real life horror. Game starts where you wake up thinking you missed your alarm only to find out that it goes off in 45 minutes so you can't get back to sleep, but you do anyway and oversleep. You can go outside and get to your mail to find a student loan spill. Thanks for the nightmares. Well, you are very, very slow. I mean, that's to be expected, but still. Come closer, your weapon will see your true heart. That's fine. I can take it. Okay, we're gonna try and just ignore the enemies for the most part and deal with these things. Get on the other side. I hate these lips so much. They're so annoying. Ow! Go away! God, I hate them. It's so annoying, they just sit there and shoot me! Need these heals. And I can't kill them because they just come back! It's so annoying! Ow! Ow! Go away! <laughs> Please die! Terrible, horrible death. Screw you! No, don't heal! God, and then shit spawns under- like, under the ground to hit me? Like, fuck off! <laughs> Look at all these projectiles! <laughs> Maybe now I can kill the enemies? Maybe. 
I'm not gonna make it over there to do it, but... Fuck you! Get afraid! Let's try it. Nope, they're still respawning. Okay, that's not gonna work then. God, how are you supposed to fucking do this? Jesus! It's so much! They just respawn! Ugh. Running a slow weapon for this was not a good call. God, that is difficult. That is really, really hard. <clears throat> it has three fucking health bars, and it constantly spawns endless waves of enemies that just sit there and shoot projectiles at you. Bleh. Yeah, seven would probably be pretty nice. I might just run seven, but... <clears throat> I had so much XP on 7, so I'm like, oh, I need to use the other characters, but I think I'll go back to Verona. God. Do any weapons have deflect? Um, all weapons destroy projectiles when you're, um, <clears throat> when you're swinging. That's how I was able to stay alive as long as I did, because I was specifically using the strong shockwave attack, and it destroyed all the projectiles around me as long as I got it off before the enemy actually hit me. Um, so having like a wide-reaching weapon that, uh, swings fairly fast so I can get rid of the projectiles in front of me would be good. But as far as like just deflecting goes, no, I don't think so. Based off of the ones that I currently have. Yeah, I don't think anybody has reflecting... I mean, Glaive would be very good, because I could just stay far away and just throw the Glaive at the boss until it died. Um, honestly, uh, Valyria would be fantastic as well, because I would confuse the enemies when going by. Hmm. But, uh... I didn't get an update with anybody, because, yeah, all I did was try to beat the boss and fail, so... Uh, more Leah. <clears throat> That was really hard, though. It has so much HP. And you're telling me Verona College was like a DLC thing that was added? If I never take another test, it will be too soon. Because trying to beat this challenge when it's the only thing, like you just have to keep beating your head against it, seems like kind of rough, if I'm going to be honest. Like if this wasn't here as like another challenge that I can do while I get bopped by the other one, that would be painful. So what are these... Things. I didn't really use the death spiral um, at all in that fight because it didn't really feel like there was a good opportunity to do so. I don't know, I just remembered. I was taking a Spanish literature class for fun. Then I stopped going and forgot to return my copy of Don Quixote five years ago. Oops. I don't even have it anymore because I donated it recently. What should I do? Uh. <clears throat> learn from this? Buy a replacement? Fess up? Hmm. Buy a replacement? Oh, what a nice idea. I like bookstores. This turns an obligation into something to look forward to. Yeah. I'll do exactly that. Now we can go back to Smashing Monsters. Um, I don't think I have any more flowers. I tried to give you the succul succulent. You didn't really care. That goes to Valyria. Both of these go to Sunder. The silver ring? I honestly don't know. The glitter eyeshadow. Hmm. I forget who, w who wanted that. <laughs> I might have tuned that fight up since I did it. Or I'm just bad. Or I'm forgetting something. It's a possibility. It's always a possibility. I was using a specifically weak weapon because I don't have you, like, leveled up at all. Oh my god. Well, that was kind of wild. Yeah, that was pretty good. 
I don't think that would have helped me in that fight still, but that's pretty good. The main problem with the hammer is it's way too slow. It's kind of the same problem Jonah has. <laughs> feels like I've been playing uh, um, the same games on stream for like ever and I think that's mostly because of like uh, Gaiden which ended up being way longer than I thought and in Sandrock which is just like crazy long not that that's a bad thing but god it feels like I, yeah I have been streaming the same thing forever so it was very very nice to get to this Stapler, stapler, go away. God, that sucks. There we go. Um, oh, cool. Oh, hi. Is it ready to start at the heart, heart of Verona? Yeah, uh, Shang Shan jacket? Okay, there's the sugar. I need that. Give me all of those, please. Okay, finally. Net TV subscription? Thousands of hours of trash on demand. Let's get it. The wire, too. I just gotta trade an ether for it, and I'll buy these two things. Okay. <laughs> Me on my 64th stream of Stardew Valley. Yeah, God. Stardew, Stardew makes sense though, just playing it for a shit ton of time. It'll be super interesting to possibly one day play like Stardew Valley Expanded or something, because there's so many things in just regular Stardew that I don't know about because I haven't, you know, played it to see those updates. So doing like an Expanded mod would be absurd. I have no heals. Go away, I don't want Fs. Okay, heal. Spinny, 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 spin. Okay. Huh. I'm back there my old VOD since I'm curious. Muted, of course, uh, since I have to listen to myself. Have you seen the Ridside, Ridgeside Village? It's about as big of a content mod is expanded is completely compatible. I know absolutely nothing about Stardew Valley mods and really the only thing I know about any of the updates that have been introduced are what I've seen on your stream. So, I really don't know a lot about the current state of like Stardew Valley. I'm so close to dying. Uh, hey, you got any of that health? Oh, thank you. Some garbage can coffee. Expanded plus Ridgeside plus base game is like 67 NPCs. Oh my god. That's a big game, baby. I've been looking at what... <clears throat> what games I could even potentially play soon on like the channel and stream. And, uh, aside from Infinite Wealth, I'm, like, not totally sure, but I guess, uh, that decision doesn't fall to me because people are gonna vote on that, so... Not really the biggest problem, because I'm gonna be playing Infinite Wealth for the next ten years of my life. Garbage can, food, please. No, no coffee. No garbage coffee. I needed garbage coffee. Okay, I gave the scare thing a shot. I think I like, like, my, my lightning strike more. My lightning strike was kind of phenomenal. I 
might still give us an A+. Plus. Thanks. And then there's the Zuzu City mod too. Oh, I didn't even level up. Disappointing. Looking forward to getting to know you better. So this might sound weird, but I need to like actually shop. Want to come with? I mean, unless it's, unless it'll become a dungeon. It can be a date or just a friendly hangout. What do you think? Uh, I'll follow you anywhere. I'll meet you in front of Champion Athleisure. See you soon. Crafting. Bug book. Let's see what Bug Princess is like. Bug Prince. Oh my god, look at that Bug Princess. That is a good Bug Princess. <laughs> okay, yeah, I used a maxed out weapon for fear of intimacy. Ah, uh, that would make sense. Yeah, none of my weapons are maxed out yet because I'm all over the place. That is a good Bug Princess. Look at that little cutie. Oh, it's great. What do you do? Summons a bug ally. Once upon a time, a girl loved bugs. <laughs> Holy shit, it really is about bugs. <laughs> okay, I gotta see what that is. Come on. I feel like somebody on the development team was just like, you know what? Bugs. We got a bug game, we got this bug princess zine. Immediately at the entrance uh, to an upscale athleisure boutique. Isn't it nice to have a day off? No angry skating parents, no stale Zamboni air. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> She laughs, takes your hand, and leads you through the store. The racks overflow with fine fabrics and avant-garde sportswear styles from the newest designers. Cool. Heavy finishers also inflict heavy knockback. Well, that sounds amazing for the ricochet thing. Which one of them did I accidentally meet? This is my happy place. I came, come here to forget real life. I love shopping too. Just that I want to shop and whether to get so inspired by the clothes. Come here to get design ideas. I don't think I have anything you want. Not many people know this, but I make almost everything I wear. Mm. When things get rough at the rink, I go home and lose myself in the wearing of my sewing machine. It's a fun hobby. Okay, this is it. I'm going to say it out loud. She takes a deep breath. Sometimes I think, what if I were a fashion designer? Fresh tarts are hopeful when you miss skating. Your clothes are beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. I'm definitely not afraid of hard work or learning new things. And although I appreciate the compliment, I know I don't like modeling. When we were competing, sometimes we had modeling contracts for sponsors. I didn't really enjoy it, standing around, everyone looking at you, and you don't even get a medal? Yuck. I'd rather be making the clothes. Pauses in front of the display and gestures to it. What do you think of these clothes? The leggings are hot. Yeah, no, that'd be me. All right, time for uh, me to head out. Have a great night. You have a great voice. Thanks. Appreciate it. Also, this heating bed is doing my back good. Read Leah's dialogue in Duff voice. Okay, well now, now bye bye to the good voice, I guess. The leggings are hot. That flame shaped cutout is everything. You'd look great in them, showing off a little leg in the dunge, quasi style. Ah. Suddenly, someone explains, exclaims behind you. Leah jumps nearly out of her skin. I know. I could give you some fashion advice. Seems like you might need it. Um... Excuse me. What's your problem? Hmm. No problems here. Just thought you both might want to look a bit less slutty. What the fuck? <laughs> Why are you so aggressively terrible in every way? I can't. How dare. Her breath hisses from her hammerhead in a furious exhale. Mm. Just my personal opinion. Do what you want. There's no need to get so emotional. Ugh. D d mm. Listen here, you creep. You should go, Eric. You should you should leave before I allow this hammer to cave in your skull. You should leave. 
We're not leaving. No. I was just trying to help. You might want a thicker skin. Oh my god, he forces a laugh as he leaves. You're the one that's so caught up on getting rejected. Jesus. This was so worth the 5,000 points. <laughs> Eric should maybe have the double voice himself all the time. Honestly? Yeah. Ugh, why are so many guys like that? Who does he think he is? Sorry. Rhetorical questions. Don't answer that, please. Hold your breath awkwardly, unsure how to answer. I'm saved by a friendlier face emerging from between the racks. Hey, thank you for the follow, uh, Micah Bunny. Appreciate it. I'm glad that the uh, Duff voice didn't scare you off. <laughs> Carlos! You look stressed. Is everything okay? Oh, we just had a run in with a creep. Um. But it's all good now that you're here. Settle the debate for us. What do you think of this? Carlos contemplates the mannequin. Leggings are not bad, but the rest of it, I'm not so sure. That's what Quasi said, too. Personally, I'd love to see more color and elegance in the world. I never have enough choices. Maybe I could make you something. Oh my god! Really? You made me something, I would, I would never take it off. Uh, I want leggings. No, a bolero. No, mm, I, I need to think. Let me make you these, uh, let me make you those empanadas. We can eat and discuss it. Um. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll call you. Carlos does a quick pirouette before leaping to the door. Ciao. I'm gonna look amazing. Ciao, darlings. You both wave goodbye as he rushes away. <sighs> Leah sighs, browsing the jackets with a wistful look. Okay, I think I'll stop the Duff voice now. I think we've had enough time. That is sweet, though. Is how happy he was about getting the clothes. Uh, love to be happier too. You deserve to be happy is a bit much. Simple happiness isn't everything. No, no to the Duff voice ending? Okay, I can keep doing the Duff voice. He's feeling like she ruined him and he's just like, let's be friends again, please. Carlos is so naturally buoyant. I wish some of that would rub off on me. <laughs> uh, simple happiness isn't everything. I'd love to be happier too. You deserve to be happy. Well, hanging out with you makes me happy. So in a way you're already helping. Mm. I've been thinking, what am I teaching my athletes when I show up to the rink miserable? Because of me, will they think work is the only thing that matters? Me and their parents too? Maybe I owe it to myself to explore this fashion thing, just because it makes me happy. Or at least out of spite for guys like Eric. I definitely don't want to end up miserable like that piece of shit who also shares my voice. Well, just thinking about it feels almost dangerous. Forbidden. Leah leans in closer to you. <laughs> but I know one thing that would make me happy right about now. Want to go back to your place? I can show you my... <laughs> my figurines. <laughs> Oh no, we're going to my place, not not Duff's place. Uh, t yeah. You're stuck now. Duff voice is gonna get stuck. Uh, you seem. In Are you also a vampire? Um, yeah, yeah. Just because it would possibly be hilarious to to read out possible sex talk in Duff voice. You walk back to your place together. So... <laughs> There's a moment of silence as your bodies draw together naturally. <laughs> In your arms, she is weighty yet graceful, enjoying her athletic capability. Spend the rest of the afternoon in bed, discovering new ways to make each other happy. When it starts to get dark out, Leah heads home, murmuring a goodbye in your ear. That sounded like a fun night. Remember, I had nothing to do with this. It was all sage. Once the scene is over, okay. Okay. Okay, we don't we don't have to do that place for poor Leah anymore. That was super fun, Quasi. See you soon, I hope. Bye. Yeah, I think Eric has earned Duff voice though. Permanently. That was a good point. Hmm. 
Well, I'm definitely not going back over there. Huh. Do I try the boss fight again? I think I tried the boss fight again, just not with Leah. Um... I think I'll use seven. Might need to explain where that place comes from to anyone who hasn't been there since it's- That's so much- Okay. In Dave the Diver, there's a character that I thought sounded like that based I off of- I used to do open mics in places like this. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Please stop shooting me with the hearts. Okay. In, in Dave the Diver, there's a character that, that I gave that voice. And it is basically stuck as that voice for all of those characters, and I was basically just copying the voice of comic book guy from The Simpsons. I'm bad at explaining things. Bug! Bug is clearly gonna get me through this. Seven is very good here. I forgot about the stun. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah. Seven is amazing here. For sure. Go get him, Bug Friend! Look at Bug Friend do it! Bug Friend is monching. I, I think there's absolutely zero, zero way I would be able to do this without Bug Friend. I don't care what anybody says. Bug Friend's required. We did it, or no, there's something more. What should we do? I need to go get some coffee first things first. Look at Bug Friend. Bug Friend's like, where's the murder? I want to murder. <laughs> Look at you. All right. How intimate are we getting in here? Hmm, this music's great. Um, hi? Strange thing looks you up and down, smirking appreciatively. You realize they're familiar, but you can't quite place it. <laughs> uh... Yeah? Uh... What are you? Been afraid of intimacy for so long, but you don't even recognize me? Call me Dungeon Boyfriend. It was me all along. When you saw the sexy scenes in movies and looked away, I was there. <laughs> what? <laughs> when you first imagined someone's lips on yours in prose, I was there. Not just physical either. Remember when you first started hiding your true self? I do. I may be a dungeon, and I know I'm not the only one you've been grinding, but... Give me another chance. I've kept you safe from being hurt, being used, being violated. I've been at your side for so long. What would your life be without... It? I, no, no, better. Better for you, maybe. What about poor dungeon boyfriend, huh? Give us a goodbye kiss. Uh... Come here, you weirdo. No, go to hell. You take pride in scornfully rejecting him. He disappears in a puff, dismissed by your confidence. Close your eyes, truly at peace with intimacy at last. Yeah.
boss defeated, so... Was it that my problems with the intimacy were due to, like, a past relationship? I think that's what that's going for, because it said it... I recognized him, but it didn't quite look like Eric, and it didn't have the same voice, because that was what my initial thought was. But I think that was me actually coming to terms with a past relationship I have and getting over the intimacy issues, intimacy issues because of that? Unless I'm totally misreading the situation. Can't wait for the God of War style sex scene about to happen with this Minecraft block. <laughs> That's a line. Nicely done, we really are stronger together, huh? Hell yeah we are. Moolah, moolah. Designer pods and Mars guy cologne. I love how my bug is still here. Come bug. Yay! Okay. We did some things. We got some stuff done. Should I swap my outfit? We've been we've been wearing the royalty for a while. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I, I just I, I I really do like the leather jacket a lot. I'm just gonna wear the leather jacket. I'm not sure it was very meta, fourth wall breaking. <clears throat> I feel like that's what it was going for. Because I was, it, as soon as it says they look familiar, I'm trying to think of all the characters in the game, but I don't think any of them particularly met that. But there's a possibility that it's familiar to my character, but not us, because I've never actually seen this person. <laughs> Night helmet? Okay. I made a cat toy. Well, I know who I'm giving that to. Jonah. Wrangler. And yeah, I did mention like the name of the game and all of that. And it was like, it was breaking the wall and stuff a lot. It was an odd situation. Now, where'd those cats go? Oh, nah, you know what? We're going out in Wrangler. We're going out in Wrangler. And I'm contractual- legally and contractually obligated to- to say everything in that voice now. Because I'm wearing the Wrangler outfit. <laughs> okay, I guess we're just going back to Verona now. The, the college. Specifically. As I don't really have any updates with any characters or anything like that. I'm not res I'm not responding to Eric. It's not happening. <laughs> Cooper voice, pretty much. I want to go to floor three, and I will definitely die. All right. Let's work as a team. Let's let's do it. God, you, you swing so slowly. Ow. That last dungeon spoilers. Oh, no, I mean you can you can see how many dungeons there are. I assume because there's uh there's four spaces in my room for plushies. I have the dungeon- I have the plushie from the first dungeon and the plushie from the second dungeon, so... I assume there's like four main ones? And, uh... Probably the DLC ones might not give me a plushie? I'm not sure. So there might be like four main story dungeons and then this isn't going to be... It's not gonna give me a plushie, possibly. Unless the plushies were just added after. In a hands-off approach to playthrough. That's that's definitely appreciated. It's it's always the best way to do it. A fr 
frying pan recipe? I can just make one of those? What are, do I do I have a smelter? Let's chill for a minute, sure. Mm. It's been a long time since I worked on my drawing skills. When I'm making, say, a shirt, I usually just do with the minimum uh, necessary to like cut the fabric. Maybe I focus too much on the results and need to step back more, think more holistically. Results matter, process matters, you're fine. Results matter, process matters. Hmm. I mean... Maybe you're just overthinking it. Oh, I appreciate the support. <laughs> Even if it's the least controversial thing you could ever say. <laughs> just got called out. I don't know which one of these options to pick. I'm just going to pick the one where I compliment you and completely ignore it, the question. Maybe I'll just take a few supplies for later if the monsters aren't using them. She pockets some charcoal pens and chalk before returning to weapon form. My favorite version of that question is in Disco Elysium. <laughs> and if you played Disco Elysium, you know exactly which question I'm talking about. <laughs> it is a very, very funny question. Fuzzy wants me to give him direction. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Usually, like, my my go-to is usually if I'm, like, straight up lost and fumbling, I will specifically ask for help, but if I don't ask for help, it's usually just whatever. I'll, I'll figure it out, but if I get confused, I'll ask for assistance. I do. That game is so well written. It was fantastic. And for the developers to go to the Game Awards and thank Marks, it's like, damn, chef's kiss. I'd also intentionally give you bad advice because you know troll and all. That's fair. If Gondola gave, gave me advice on how to play this game, I would end up with Eric. I would end up locked into a relationship with Eric. mostly remember from the game. I'm also a good bug, which is what I mostly remember the game. I'm probably the only one who knew that uh, bug word was from the get-go. Oh god, yeah. That's fantastic. One of the one of the streamers I watched got that spoiled, and it was like the fucking worst. Somebody spoiled it, and it's like one of the biggest reveals in the game, and it's like, no! <laughs> Don't do that! Oh god. You'll get him next time. I was luckily completely unspoiled on that entire thing, so it was absolutely fantastic. Well, I got bopped again. Yeah, I mean it's okay. It's it's easy to it's easy to slip up sometimes. I feel like everyone's done that with something. I've I've definitely done it before. Yeah, we got destroyed. Don't get Bob Streamer easy clap there. That's my backseat for the night. Thank you for the valuable input. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> but the friend Let's was good friend. Team. Best bug friend. I've had so much trouble never saying to anyone, even though I want, <laughs> want to each time the game comes up. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that moment for you would be especially hard not to bring up. <laughs> and it's unfortunate that it's so up your alley. My back's behind the mass, so you're getting snarky gondola. Save snarky gondola for Mario Party, it'll be perfect. We need the maximum amount of tilt required. I realized I have not been using this like at all. <laughs> I probably should. Black nail polish, tarot deck. Well, I know who to give that to. And doppelganger. Work to work tomorrow. We'll probably take all of my tilt. I see. That's fair. It's so good and important. I just have to sit on my hands. Yeah, it's it's such a phenomenal moment, and I feel like it's it's one of those things where it's like nothing this specific and cool is going to happen again for like a very long time, so you kind of got to savor it. Ooh, there's the exit. Cool. You want to play Disco Elysium sometime, but it's too boring to watch an LP? I really liked watching LPs of it, specifically because it's cool to see what paths other people take. But yeah, I can get it. It's a bunch of talking and people trying to decide what choice to go with and stuff like that. If I did, if I did an LP of Disco, which people have asked for like a ton on both the YouTube and stream, um, I would go the basically the complete opposite build that I went when I played it myself, which. I feel like is what people most people didn't go. <laughs> I would go full into physical or what, whatever it's called, the red one. I would go full into that and then pick something else wild. Maybe physical inlaid empire kind of shit. Just full in the complete opposite what I went before. Cause I think I went like all in on empathy and motorix. So I could be like a super buff scientist or something. Oh no, I just remembered. Oh yeah, that's right. Oops. Uh, buy replacement. Yeah. <laughs> you have the director's cut now too? Yeah, I've heard... I've heard, like, mixed things on the director's cut, actually. Um, because some people are like, I prefer the original disco. Because when they heard it was getting voiceover, they thought there were going to be different voices for the different personalities. And when they weren't, they were disappointed. I don't think that would bother me too much. Honestly, it would be cool if all of them had like a different voice and stuff, but I understand why not because that game has a stupid amount of dialogue So it would be a lot of work to voice that in different voices So I get it But I don't I don't really think it would bother me. I think I would love the voiceover stuff Mostly because it would mean I would have to voice less shit, which would be great. Seem fine to me. Yeah, from what I've seen of it, it seemed cool as well. I once saw a hilarious comment talking about Disco. Um, and I guess this is like, and this isn't really, this isn't really a spoiler, but it, it can happen very, very early game. So I'm gonna choose not to consider it a spoiler. Um, so I, there was somebody I saw a comment, and they were like. I don't get this game, um, I don't understand why when I punched the, the child, I punched the child, I got, I got fascism as a thought unlocked. 
They're like, I don't understand what that has to do with fascism. <laughs> I punched a child. I don't get it though. Why did the thought appear in my thought cabinet then? All right, we're back to Kitty. Butt quest immediately. Yeah, that whole quest line was just amazing. God, I gotta get. I gotta get back to having a fast weapon. I'm not, I'm not using a slow weapon anymore, and that's very, very different. Book name and immediately got very excited. So my husband is very cough, <laughs> very careful to optimize for that. That's funny. Ooh, sewing machine recipe. Well, I know who would want that. That's very easy to know who to give to. I don't know what you're gonna do if I give you like ten sewing machines, though. Pocket sniffs at the scorch mark and recoils uncertainly. Would you like to offer a gift? I actually do have one. It's like fishing, but with murder, is what the description for the cat toy said. Pocket faces the lab and sniffs at the different jars, pushing one particular in the floor to smash. He purrs, very pleased with himself. Careful of broken glass. Pocket sniffs at a shard of glass nearby and startles backwards. Before you can blink, he's turned into his weapon. Yup. Probably one of like five people ever watching that game knew that word already. <laughs> That's me whenever like an obscure history thing comes up. Like, he was, um, I was watching a, an H-bomb video. And he made an obscure history joke about the the Byzantine Empire, and I was and he was like obscure history joke that no one will get, and I was like, hey, <laughs> I get it. Making it a lot further this time, at least. There's people in my chat that can uh, point out what a bug is just off of seeing the scientific name once. Then there's me who had to look up how to pronounce fucking Volpes when I played Small Saga. <laughs> I was like, how the fuck do you pronounce this actually? <laughs> Intense purring. <laughs> Did Rit laugh really hard at that? I knew. <laughs> oh god. I knew I was gonna get shit if I did not look it up, so I had to. Stop that. <laughs> yeah, chances to learn are always fantastic. I love it so much. That's what I get for Harper nerds. <laughs> I would much, much rather harbor nerds than harbor what a lot of other YouTubers harbor. Ew. 
The nerds are cool and interesting, so... What the f- I was looking at chat because I was walking to the exit and there's a fucking ambush stapler? No! I was looking at chat because I'm like, oh, it's the safe room. I can go down the stairs. Cool, let's look away from the screen. Sniped. God damn it. Is that horse shit? Fuck staplers. Oh my god. Okay, who wants to talk? That's happened in real life to me? Ambush staplers? Oh my god. This is it. The invitation you've been waiting for. Carlos wants uh, to make us an empanada picnic. He means business. He invited you by name and everything. What do you think? It's empanada o'clock. Great. Meet us at the beach. I'm letting Pocket out, by the way. Worried he's looking for a fight. I'll keep him safe. I hope so. Oh, okay, Pocket's out. Good luck finding him. I stapled my finger once on purpose as a child. I remember I've always- I've always kind of been intimidated by, like, paper cutters. Because, um... My art teacher, when I was in, like, kindergarten, sat us down and told us about how she cut the tip of one of her fingers off with a paper cutter. So I've always, since that point in kindergarten, been kind of scared of paper cutters. <laughs> like, I don't want to- I don't want anything to do with them. I mean, I guess it worked. You made the children, um, want to be safe around paper cutters, but also... <laughs> but also, though. Doppelganger? Wait, what is with that outfit? Why is it called Doppelganger? Did Cousin- Oh my god, it's Jesse's clothes. I'm not wearing Jesse's clothes. Cheese graters are the real terror. Cheese graters can be scary, yeah. <laughs> Okay, there's a date at the mall. Let's go see Pockets. Wow. <clears throat> you find Pockets wandering outside the mall. You follow him until he stops in front of a pet store. He pulls out something from a hiding place under a bench and nudges it towards you. Oh. Oh. I have been bestowed a great gift. Wow. Cat ears look like they'd fit you perfectly. Pockets' ears are perked up proudly. Thanks, kitty. You hear a faint purring in response, then his eyes wander to the pet store's front window. There's a display of pet mice and birds available for purchase. Pocket drools. Pocket at least has a little wheezy sigh of longing. Notice the familiar street cat. Pocket tenses up, calls at the ready. Street cat slows as it gets in the range of Pocket's attack and finally sits just out of reach. Pocket's fur fluffs up with his tension, but he doesn't move. He doesn't know what to do. Think of the Smilodon, or... Yeah, think of the Smilodon, please. Your voice makes him startle and he jumps, panic in his eyes. The street cat steps forward menacingly. Pocket loses nerve and dodges between your legs, transforming into a weapon! The street cat pauses, staring up at you and Pocket. Her tail twitches. He's with me. Meow. The solemn pronouncement of some kind was the cat saying. Huh? Livy almost bumps into you on her way out of the I'm holding claws! Please be careful. God. Speaking of bugs, a few weeks ago in Polish cinemas, there was an awful animated movie about bugs. I just remember making uh, like a paper plate maraca shaker type thing in preschool when I was living in California and managed to cut myself on one of the staples so my shaker had a blood stain on it. Some people are afraid of mandolins for cooking, not music, but they usually have safety features. Hey! Oh, hey, what are you doing here with. Hey, I know this cat. That's Astar... Astart? Astarte? My old roommate's cat? Ast I'm super fucking butchering that. What are you doing here, girl? Yeah. You know? Olivia reaches down, pat her head, and uh, Astart slinks just out of range. The ear's flat. She has a rescue and always moody. Uh... Rescue and always booting. You mean feral? You mean a jerk? We should call animal control? No, you mean feral. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was always escaping. It was like she can magically teleport out of locked rooms. Astarte. 
Poor kitty. She's probably just really strong and sneaky and smart. Or, I mean, maybe she's a magical cat witch leading a secret cat coven. Who knows? One can dream. <laughs> Have a good day. I'll probably see you at Kick soon. Yeah, see ya. Livia walks away and Astarte watches for a moment before finally standing. Meow, meow, meow. meow. Street Cat wanders away after her pronouncement. You reach down the pit pocket and he had sex her touch. You're not sure what the Street Cat said, but something has changed. You'll briefly become invulnerable after a finisher. Ooh. Starte is the goddess of love and sexy stuff? Was that not Aphrodite? Cat looks like it has manger mites. Yeah. Looks not great. <laughs> Good kitty. Pocket purrs loudly, ramming his head into your leg in a surprising display of public affection. There are a lot of sexy gods, of course there are. Spend the afternoon together until Pocket gets distracted by a pigeon and runs off. You head home. Oh my bad, Phoenician. Ah. Oh my god! Look how cute he is! Oh. Oh, sorry, wrong number. No, it's the right number. Fuck you, wrong number. Wrong number, my ass. Don't be sending cute cat pictures to, to other people without sending it to me. That's illegal. Name's definitely chosen for a reason. Pocket's cheating on you? It's fine. Pocket can Pocket can be pet by other people. Cats need a lot of love and attention. Finally, young Carlos setting up a picnic. Under an umbrella, you see salads, a cold load of drinks, and enough empadanas to feed at least 30 people. Good, I'm 30 people. Hi. She throws her arms around you and plants a juicy kiss on your lips. So you two are getting very close. Carlos! What? It's nice. Carlos hands you a glass filled with a milky almond-scented drink. Leah makes plates of cabbage salad, avocado, beans and rice, and empanadas for you and herself. You bite into a cheese empanada. It's warm and steamy. The fluffy golden pastry melts in your mouth. Do you have any hamburgers? Is an odd thing to ask here. Mmm, delicious. Thank you, your flattery will get you everywhere. So... Leah, about the real reason we're all here. Companionship of friends? No, the clothes you promised to make me. Uh... I was thinking, either a nice classy scarf or, I don't know, a shirt? <gasps> With like a phoenix on it? And then when I unfurl my arms, it's as if I had phoenix wings? My enemies quake in fear. Mm. <laughs> Both of those are interesting. It's going to flip a coin to decide. What do you think? Phoenix shirt all the way. Yeah. It'll certainly be a statement piece, and there's no shortage of enemies around lately. Can the feathers be colorful, sparkly even? I don't see why not. It'll be my signature. I'll stand out everywhere, from the arena to the club. <laughs> Who knows? You might even help kickstart my new career. Wait, what? Are you thinking of leaving skating? What about your students? Leah goes quiet and suddenly changes shape into a hammer. She swears to herself quietly. Oops. I meant to do that. I mean, look, I'm... I'm just thinking, okay? And it's my decision. I have to make it with my whole heart. I just want to be happy. <sighs> Sorry, Leah. You know I love you and I'll support you no matter what. In my new Phoenix shirt! <laughs> Leah exhales slowly, gathering her self-control. Darling, is everything okay on the ice? Yeah. And yeah, things are good? Even? Maybe? Uh, regionals are coming up. Sophia's doing better, but I still worry. How's the mom? I recommended her to lead the parents' committee. Now she can only make one practice a week. The rest of the time she's too busy. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Things are a lot quieter. It's been good for Sophia's jumps. You should be proud. Whatever you decide, you're already you've already made a huge difference. Thanks. That means a lot. Sun begins to set, satisfied by good empanadas and great company. You con you contemplate its glow. Notice Leah making ra uh, making raising an eyebrow. 
Oh, okay, that's a typo. At Carlos, Carlos finally picks up on it and yawns dramatically. Oh, I think I'd better pack it in. Early practice tomorrow. He packs up in record times and leaves in a flurry of air kisses. Leo turns to you sheepishly. Sorry. I know that wasn't super subtle. I can be too blunt, but I've been wanting to talk to you. Uh, gift? Um, I don't think I have anything for you, actually. Frying pan? <laughs> Not pansexual. Okay, maybe a little. <laughs> it's the description for frying pan. Amazing. All right, I'm sure. I feel like I'm not always the fastest to notice my own feelings. It's been a whirlwind since I met you, and I've been dealing with all this career stuff and the injury. <sighs> and we've been getting pretty close. It's all going a little fast. Are we breaking up? Let's make out. What are you trying to say? Well... Let's make out is not it. Are we breaking up seems like... No. We're not saying that. What are you trying to say? So I'm trying to say that... I've really been enjoying this. It's been a lot going on. I'm obviously not as over my injury as I thought I was. And I've been trying to sort out my whole life and future. And you've been there for the whole time. I want you to know that I see you and I care. Yeah, that's cool. Finishers do more damage. Finishers are faster to execute is definitely what we need. I don't know. It's like when I'm with you, you make all of that go away for a while. <laughs> Even when you're not here, you make me feel more hopeful like I can do anything. Like I want to impress you, so thanks. Cool, now we make out? <laughs> what the? Who chooses these? We're stronger together. Yeah. I agree, that's a great way of putting it. Setting sun casts beautiful crimson light across the sky over the ocean. She leans into you and you share a, lo a warm, long shadowed kiss. You realize there's no one else around. More? On the beach, though? I don't know, on the beach, though. Even if there is no one else around. I don't know. We're already making out, so I'm kind of scared of what more means. Hmm. Now let's, let's watch the sunset. The ocean roars, you give her hand a squeeze and turn to look at the water. You sit side by side in comfortable silence until the sun finally disappears below the horizon. Bye. Have a good night, Quasi. Head home. Yeah, no, on the beach is terrible. Beach is terrible. People people like to hype up and fantasize about beach sex, but no, it sucks. <laughs> it's awful. It's terrible. <laughs> that was a great night, Quasi, and unexpectedly special. Thank you. Glad we talked and everything else. I feel so much closer to you. You don't want sand in places. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I feel the same way. Boom. It's infinite sandpaper. How long is the stream? Uh... Uh, I'll probably end sometime soon. Like I said, I was off today, so um, I was willing to get a little bit more done. Ah, oh, but Bug Friend. Storm Zine is really good, but Bug Princess is Bug Princess. I think beach stuff is a fantasy unless uh, you've actually an experienced adult and then you're like, that's stupid. Yeah. Don't do that thing. It's not worth it. It's dumb. And that's the fun thing about it. It can stay a fantasy. You can still utilize that as a fantasy, but doing the real thing fucking sucks. Don't do that. It would also just ruin your fantasy because you would realize how much it sucks. I want to go in and try... Well, I can't try Leah. Of course, I somehow managed to get to the point where the cat is my highest rank. Did not even do that shit on purpose. Okay, we need to, uh... Sawyer. Going down, well, meow. We're 
remember, they're just monsters. Demons, even. You don't have to feel bad. Where are all your combos? XXX, XXY, XYY. Okay, XYY is a pretty good one for damage control. Surprising anyone at all? Nope. I, I've been typecast. I the computers with a palpable unease. Ah, ah frig, I just remembered. I have a short writing exercise due tomorrow. Would you like to offer a gift? Yes, you... You're a college student. You would like the... You would like the... the you would like the Netflix subscription, right? But you're also kind of into cooking, so maybe frying pan? Hey, you want... No, you didn't actually care about it. Oh, cool, I like it a lot. We can keep going if you want. Uh, or I can just do the assignment when I get home. Or do it now? Yep. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Quasi the procrastination police to the rescue. I'm definitely not the procrastination police. I am the person that does the procrastinating. Feed them? I think I offered them pizza and they hated it. Because I was like, oh yeah, I bet you would like pizza. And you were like, no. Or was it... Or was it... It was pizza or truffles, which means they might just not like sweets. They sit down and log in, tapping away more slowly than more quickly. You sit nearby and fiddle with your phone while you wait. So your stops typing and frowns into space for a full two minutes. <laughs> God damn, do I feel that. Wait. They return to typing on the keyboard in a sudden burst of energy. Finally, they hit enter with a decisive jab and jump to their feet. I think Sunder was the one who hated food. I can't remember who I gave the pizza to now that I think about it. I thought I gave it to Sawyer, but I know for a fact I gave Sawyer a sweet. No doing homework isn't the coolest hangout. Thanks for watching, uh, for waiting. Without that lingering stress, I can focus on stabbing even better. Yay! Yeah, I can't remember all the gifts I've given at this point. God, that was waiting for me at the door. God, stop it. Bug, bug. Get them, my pretties. Go! <laughs> bug army. Sunder's basically sage with gift options. Yeah. Just Alky Hall. If only there was some kind of blood alcohol, I bet Sunder would love that. Stop that. There we go. Um What the hell are those? Oh, those are those are the desks in it desk enemies that just reskinned. Like, what the hell is that? We can play the coward's way. If I gotta. Yeah, Sawyer's actually super super good as a weapon. I love them. But, uh, unfortunately not interested in him romantically. Time's the victory mystic. Should we do a dance? dun da 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 I might be fighting the boss with Sawyer. It's just this- it's just after this floor. What is this? It's kind of romantic. Sawyer also came on, like, aggressively hard. Oh cool! I always wanted to have art class, but I couldn't. But I couldn't afford it. Supplies alone cost at least a week's worth of groceries. Whoa. Here they are, ready to go. It's easy, right? Paint on brush, then canvas. Art is hard. Probably true. It's been a long time since I doodled, and those were never great. <laughs> but anything's hard worth uh, trying. Anything hard's worth trying. Is that how the saying goes? Let's just do it. You need to buy a uh, sage drink for something. I saw when we were out today, there was a giant Lego Optimus, Pri Optimus Prime that was $175 and I was like, holy shit, if I ever had to get Sage a gift, this would be what I would get. 
They enthusiastically dip the brush into some blue paint and swab some onto an easel. Uh... That was the completely wrong color. Oh no, 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 I regret. I can't erase it. What do I do? Keep going. All right, I'll try this instead. Yep. You're not sure how your painting is going, but you feel a sense of peace. They paint over the blue swatch with a slightly different hue than some purple. This is all uh... wrong. I can't look at this anymore. It's too painful. I need an art teacher. They say not to turn your back on your enemy, but my hilt is allowed, right? No. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Angry desk. Oh god, more enemies. Bug! I think I might be able to possibly finish this next stream. Maybe. Depending on how long the stream is, I suppose. Just judging by how much stuff I've done and stuff, so we'll see about that. And then we can have uh, a new vote for hopefully a short game before, uh, or I can just choose to play something on my own before Infinite Wealth comes out. Dave the Diver clip has like 900 views. Yeah, I saw that it kind of popped up a little bit shortly after I uploaded it. Um, that was when I kind of just uh, dropped and left. But it's always always fun when one of them does pretty well. My, the, I remember one of the um, Rain World ones that I uploaded, I really loved. And that thing, I just I like... I didn't let you down. Holy shit. I just got comboed. Um, that one got like nothing. Like, I think the algorithm straight up forgot to recommend it but i think i found out why i think i accidentally uploaded two shorts in one day because i set the dates wrong and so the second one just didn't get recommended at all beep, beep, beep. uh what was this designer pods we can make that now i have so much left over Quasi pick sounds fun. Yeah, I would. If it was up to me, I think I would either do going under, which would be very similar to this, or Monster Rancher 1 and 2. But I've been kind of writing on Monster Rancher 1 and 2, the one that's on Steam, because I want to get it when it's on sale. And I keep forgetting to get it. Sage so joked I'm in a healthy relationship. Need to thank him. We finished this dungeon of the stream. I believe in you. The game. I'll get back to you. Uh, uh-oh. I have so much left over. Vegan cheese everywhere, and I'm sick of grilled sandwiches. I thought my plan was foolproof, but here I am. I proved full. <laughs> Let's cook something else. Yes, I'll be right there. Sawyer arrives a few minutes later. So what are we cooking today, chef? I brought all my leftover cheese. Uh... Mac and cheese? Wow. Brilliant, I knew I could count on you. I tried Googling cheese recipes, but they all had these complex instructions. Uh. I even looked at a few for mac and cheese and they both required a roux? One of them had like 50 photos of a vacation to Austria for some reason, too intense. Oh yeah, the recipes that like, yeah. I probably could have figured it out eventually, but I haven't really been sleeping. Too much stress? Uh huh. Say that, stressful having raccoons living in your dorm vents. Yeah, I can see how that could be a little stressful. I guess summer finals are coming up soon too, and I'm starting to wonder about everything. It's not a warm, fuzzy feeling. Even if I get straight A's, am I wasting the peak years of my life going into debt? Mm. Uh. Eh. You know. <laughs> and for what? I'm studying history, bearing my nose in the past while the future burns. Uh, I mean, I think, I think. College is definitely a worthwhile thing to do, 
but uh, it does suck that you have to go in debt for it. College is fantastic, but the crazy amount of debt you have to go into it? God. Yeah, you can't do shit with a, uh... You can't do shit with a history BS. Believe me, I know, Sawyer. I learned that. Um, you can change majors, what would you rather do? Your peak is still ahead of you. To be completely honest, once you actually start getting in, like... Like, working jobs and stuff... A lot of the time, the degree doesn't matter unless it's specifically something that requires a master's in a certain field. For the current job that I do, they didn't even care what my bachelor's was in. They tried to hire my wife, and I do, like, you know, IT stuff. And uh, I was like, oh, yeah, uh, my wife, he was like, does your wife have a, uh, does your wife have a bachelor's? And I was like, yeah, um... It's not really any comp sci stuff or anything like that, though. She doesn't really know a lot about computers. It's an anthropology, and he was like, I don't care. As long as she has a bachelor's, that's it. That's it. I don't, I don't care what it is, as long as it's a bachelor's. I just need a piece of paper saying that you got a degree in something. And I can give you an IT job. <laughs> Which is just hilarious to me. But... Plan to tell my future offspring that the first degree needs to be practical. Yeah. It's, it's unfortunate, and... It really sucks that so many colleges, like, and universities for profit will specifically kind of lead people down, like, just, just a crazy direction. Like, <laughs> my wife's been talking about at her current college, they've been really pushing. And they've been really pushing. Like, she's seeing advertising for it all the time. They're like sending emails about it. Their esports degree, which I don't even know what classes you would put for an esports degree, like media, marketing, and like just—it's basically just a thing where a bunch of eighteen-year-olds are gonna be like, "I don't know what my major is, but I like playing video games, so I'm gonna go for this degree." And it's going to suck. <laughs> it's going to suck a whole lot. It's going to be terrible. Three dozen Mountain Dew Clay. Yeah, pretty much. Well, the esports management. My undergrad had a professional golf management degree. That's the thing, though. They don't specifically list it as esport management. They also don't tell these people that most people that are in esports usually retire by, like, the time they're, like, 26, 28. I think 26 and 28 is like kind of old for an esports player, and usually they retire that point and become a coach then. But if you were going to do esports management, it still seems like it would be better instead of getting such a specific degree to just get like a media marketing or broadcasting degree instead than specifically go into an esports degree. It, it just seems like an odd choice, and it feels like they're baiting people, but. Yeah, Sawyer, um, I know the struggle with, uh, majors. In my experience, the best thing to do was to double major, have the practical major be your, your major that you basically want on your piece of paper to say, like, oh, this is, uh, this is, this is what I want to use to get jobs, and then have another major that's your cool major. That's what I did. Cause I was like, oh, I'm gonna go in the comp side because that'll help me get a job, but also I'm way more interested in history, so I'm gonna double major in history. And it definitely helped balance things out. <laughs> what would you rather do? No idea. I've been so excited about so many things and then none of them worked out. I love playing video games, but that doesn't mean I want to make them. If I quit school, maybe I could do something to really change the world. Volunteer for the next mayor's election campaign, maybe. I wait until after I graduate on being selfish while people suffer. You're the coolest person I know and you graduated college, so what do you think? Would you make the same decisions if you could go back? Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think anybody can decide this for you. Finish what you start, follow your heart, nobody can decide this for you. I mean... I'm not the person to ask this shit. I don't know. 
I can tell you about my experience and hope that you could do make the decision based off of my experiences, but I can't tell you what to do. That's such a big like bit of control to have over someone's life. Finish what you started. I tried that with secondary ed and burned the fuck out. Yeah. <sighs> Nobody can decide this for you. I think that's the thing to go with. Yeah, I know, but I don't know what I want either. Except, I know I'm drawn to you. With your support, I feel like I can do anything. Immobilize lasts longer. Glaive's throw goes further. I'll go for that. Even fight a boss battle like making mac and cheese. I know I helped last time, but maybe this time I should just watch. Uh, I mean, if I touch it, I'll just ruin it. Nonsense, be brave. Yep. Okay, yes, sir. Saw your beams with excitement, fists clenched. Are they powered up? Yeah. Let's do this. Careful with the knives. He helps all your follow the steps for a baked mac and cheese with breadcrumbs. Oh God, yummy. Soon enough, you're eating the fruits or starches of your labor. <laughs> I love mac and cheese. So gooey, so comforting. Is this actually better than restaurant food? How? You're like the best friend ever. Wow. Plus, I just realized we have leftovers for breakfast. This is the best. It's getting a bit late. I should get some sleep before my exams tomorrow. Raccoons are not. I don't think... Frying pan? You love frying pan. Ooh, I can use it to practice. Yeah, thank you. Uh... So, um, don't mean to be a burden or in the way, and I feel weird for asking, but I can't help but thinking it would be so rad. Can I sleep on your couch tonight, please? It's okay to say no and change your mind, really. This is just a- this isn't a B&B. &B. My couch is yours. Yay, you're the best! I'll just snuggle down and not be a bother. Night-night. You put a throw blanket over them, and they're snoring within moments. You go to bed. In the morning, you're rushing for, uh, you're- they're rushing, late for class. Got a jet! Thanks again! Bye! Fire's eyes shine with admiration. The door closes softly behind them. Patch schools uh, don't actually print your major on your degree. That's yeah. See, that's that's wild. It's just it's just weird. Degrees degrees are weird. I remember when I told my wife that they didn't even care what her major was. She was like, "Wait, what? Why?" And I was like, "Because they just need a piece of paper saying that you went to school. They don't care what's on the paper." <laughs> Uh, help, urgent. Uh, what is Coco's other title besides Chancellor? Who? who? Emperor something, I think, of China? Uh, no time, please. Oh, um, Emperor Hadi, Emperor Da Wu, Emperor Wu Wei. Um, I actually don't know. I, I'm not familiar with this particular, um, Emperor. Move away. You're cheating off me. Thanks. Okay. So yeah, I only have a bachelor's of art and a master's of art, and in that, a doctor of philosophy. I would like to try to finish the college today, if possible, but I'm rapidly thinking I am too bad. I guess I gotta use Sunder. One of the worst things dealing with in school for me was like a really, really cool Sounds class. Like fresh meat. Let's do it. Like a super, super cool class. But it's only offered like, you know, once every two years, and then you miss the first time, so you gotta get it the second time, but then you can't get it. Happens so often. Class availability is rough. Oh my god. Damn, those things hit hard. That was your major requirements. I luckily got pretty close, or er, er, had, had a pretty easy time with mine, but... My wife had a much harder time. So 
So much damage. Ow. We won, like we always do, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, hey, there's the stairs already. Jeez. I have a dream, but want to be a movie director. At one point, I had a friend with a higher standing hold a seat for me so I could get into one because I was screwed by scheduling priority. God, scheduling priority, yeah. I would never be able to be like a director or anything like that. Creatively, I'm just like kind of useless. I'm jealous of people that can like do uh, video essays and stuff because they're super cool, but god damn, I would never be able to do something like that. I had to do it all over again and take a different route. Yeah, I mean, I can at least be happy that, with the choices that my past self made. Like, it's, it's, it, is it, is it, like, ideal and I got my dream? No, but at least I'm okay. And I did get a job, like, nearly right out of college, which is nice. I got very lucky and I'm very privileged in that regard. God, that book came from the other room. How about no? Ow. Bug. More bug. Because there's a bunch of bug books in here. Three bug. Okay, bug's great because you can just summon a shit ton of them when there's a bunch of books lying on the ground. And then they stay. Yeah, those staplers are very accurate. If I hit it, not at all, and they wouldn't be going this far unless I wanted to, but yeah, here we are. It just sucks, like, just in general, just how much debt you have to go into just to learn things. It's really awful. And just, like, how difficult researching on your own, even when you're not in school, is. With, uh, so many- so much knowledge and articles being, like, uh, paywalled by different sources and stuff. I mean, it was hard for me to get sources for things when I was in school and had access to a lot of those things for free, so... Heart's pumping, need a breather? This book's all looks suspiciously new. I didn't go to college, per se, but it seems weird to me. Hmm. Back in the day, people wrote books because it was the best way to communicate. At least for complicated reasons, or complicated ideas over long distances would remember <sighs> stuff. But now surely there are better ways than all on my phone, not dead trees. Books are still useful. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, for what? You tell Sunder about some of the useful books you've read or referenced lately. I'll admit the feel of books can't be beat. I'm always shocked some people prefer glossy magazines. But hey, some people prefer wielders that aren't you, though accounting for taste. Uh, I actually do have alcohol. There you go. And there goes the shirt. Don't need much, but I do love all the other forbidden pleasures. Good thing we have excellent taste in common. Actually, I'd have more focus more on entomology if I could turn back time. My path led me to my husband in current life, and so as far as I'm concerned, it was perfect. Yeah, that's always the thing we got to keep in mind too: is that the path that we're that we're currently on led us to where we are. You want to study, but you're in a wheelchair. You can still study. There's a lot of fantastic opportunities now. Actually, being a grad student has given me more pull on getting stuff. That definitely seems helpful. I remember I was always intimidated about, um, for various degrees and stuff, having to be specifically published. That always terrified the hell out of me. Even though it's not really as scary as it seems, because when people hear about you gotta be published, they always think it's like, oh, you have to write your own book. No, it can be, like, published in a journal. 
which is significantly less intimidating. But still. God, these stupid staplers. Thanks for reminding me I need to work on editing my poem submission I did. You're welcome. How? There's all kinds of accommodations these days. Things are a lot, lot better for people just generally. Ooh, whip? <laughs> you hear a soft whimpering. Go, run, save yourselves. The AI has gone completely mad and will destroy you and us all. You see a whip curled on the floor looking very small and frayed. We can handle it. No, really, I'm totally doomed. Please just leave here. I don't mind. <laughs> I'll find a way to escape eventually. Have some faith. Oh no, you're cool. Damn it, I guess I have to deal with this myself. Ugh. I said please and everything. Oh, Ugh. you're cool. You're cool. <laughs> Look at that design. The door's locked. You can't even imagine how busy I am. And I told you over and over to go home. I am Dr. Holmes, legendary hacker, world leading AI researcher, and one of the Forbes five under five. <laughs> so just being here is a big honor for you. Remember that when the paramedics come. Uh, we're gonna fight? <laughs> yes. First step is to analyze your many weaknesses. This will only hurt for a moment. Push a few buttons and the floor begins to fall away. Uh-oh. Oh, hi. My bugs care not for gravity. Um, th this, this really isn't the time. Okay, okay, we want to be in there. Stop messaging me! It is not the time! I, I'm trying to not go through the teleporter. Get over there, get over there. Okay, we're good. Am I just surviving until that bar fills up? I think I might be. You stupid thing. I'm afraid your grade will have to be an F, but that's normal. Don't worry, this is within the expected range of performance. You sigh and feel something crumple inside. All after that is darkness. F. Well, we made it pretty far, and I maxed out uh, Valeria. She's not quite a whip. What's it called? A scourge? I don't remember what that's called exactly. Oh man, thank you so much for finding professors. Sam finally stopped worrying and slept for like 20 hours straight. When she woke up, we decided to scrap our elaborate wedding plans. Instead, we're going to do a little more DIY. Not quite eloping, but not uh, baby Jesse's dream wedding either. Can I help? Well, I hope you'll do me a favor. Will you be a groom's person? There's no bachelor party, so don't worry about that. Just show up, stand behind me for the ceremony, maybe say something nice at the reception. There isn't even a rehearsal because we're doing the thing tomorrow. What do you say? Thanks, sure. Yeah, Cat of Nine Tails would be one of the ones for it. One of the names. Okay, great. One less thing to worry about. The ceremony's going to be at the vineyard to the south. Terrible wine, but please don't say anything. The staff is very nice. And then reception in our backyard, no big deal. Oh, I also forgot to say, the dress code is purple tie. Hell yeah! What's purple tie? 
It means like the fanciest ever, high-end fashion. Think the Met Gala. I know it's hard to get that stuff last minute, but uh, it's front of beach. I'm sure it'll be fine. Good luck. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to bring a plus one. You reflect it's been a long time since you've been to a wedding. Who do you invite? Isaac, Sunder, Valeria, other... Other? Seven, saw your... <laughs> oh my god. I can invite the cat. <laughs> Okay, as much as I want to go with one of the other characters, how can I possibly pass up the opportunity to go with, to a wedding with a cat as my plus one? The answer is I can't. There's no way. Pockets coming with. Pockets coming with. Come on, kitty. You dial your plus one, wondering what they'll wear. They don't pick up. They have a voicemail about the wedding and dress code. It's a bit awkward to ask them the chauffeur the cat, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. They hang up. You eye your closet thoughtfully. Yeah! <laughs> I'm just bringing a cat that doesn't like people to the wedding. Pocket will be mayhem? That's what I want. It's perfect. Okay, the muffin stench is gone, mostly. Want to come see my work some evening? Sounds good. Can't wait. It is time. Let's dance. Again. Poop emoji. R rude. Uh, oh, okay, it's you. Professor finally got back to me. I can't believe this. They've been down there all that time just working. I guess so. Poop emoji. What's with everybody in the poop emoji? Dr. Holmes, I mean, sorry, not you. That was rude. Sorry, I'm crying. I don't know how to handle anger very well. I mean, thank you. I got so worked up over nothing embarrassing. Ugh, I'm gonna focus on Jesse and the wedding. When is it? I know when it is. I don't know the details yet, but you'll get them when I have them. Thanks. Okay. I need to go out and do one thing so it keeps the progress of me reading all of those things. But then when we get back to our home next time, I will just chill. An end stream. Actually, I wonder if I just walk back into my house now, will it save my progress? Does it have like a little save icon? There we go. Okay, it auto saved right there. I don't even have to go do anything else. Whew. Well, I ended up playing that longer than I thought I was going to because it was fun. And I get to I get to bring my favorite cat to the wedding, so 